that's so cool. Hey guys, welcome to another Thursday night edition of Dungeons and Dragons with the Edge Lords and Murder Hobos. That was uh, our brand new cool intro stinger thing. Is it called the stinger thing? I don't know what the hell it's. Uh, stinger? Stinger. It's the stinger. You know, it looks amazing. And it. Uh, I am your host tonight, DM Roy, and uh, it's great to see all you guys, figuratively speaking, you know. Uh, we have our usual cast of edge lords and murder hobos. Uh, we won't go through all the introductions, I guess, again every week because we don't want to burn a lot of time doing all that. Uh, we'll give a uh, another shout out. So we'll we'll go through real quick. Uh, Fax Fox, how do okay? How do we do this on air? How what's a good way to introduce people that are here? Right, I see them in one way, people see them another way. What's a good way to introduce the players each week? Who's got some good ideas on that? People at home, and feel here free to are in. my players. Right. Right, let's go. Introduce a player, and each time the player introduces themselves, they do a shot. Oh, that's that's, that's one way. I think that's right. the best way to do that. For, right. those of, for those of us that don't drink, that's going to be a little bit rough. Well, we're going to need do some. Yeah. Well, Anna can. Uh, for those of us who don't drink, I can Anna, drink for all of you guys. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you. I'm going to take my shot for me. Or maybe we can get a volunteer in chat who can mm. be sort of a champion of each player right so each player will have a a champion in chat so if you want to champion <laughs> one of these players for shots tonight uh let us know in chat and we will we will get you set up and we will let you know the appropriate time to take drinks and uh and such like can that I declare my champion already is my boyfriend yeah. he drink for me he can look feel free man drink away drink away david you have to drink for me <laughs> Do three I know shots you're right now. doing research, but you have to drink for me. Is he doing research? He's doing your research for you? Not my research. He's doing his own fucking research. Ah, excellent, excellent. All right, so uh, we are back. We missed last week because somebody was celebrating an anniversary, which is fantastic. Uh, thank you. Love you, honey. Appreciate that. Had a really good time. Anybody else have any fun uh, you're announcements? You're welcome. <laughs> That's you, the other honey. Oh, oh. Uh, anyone have any fun announcements oh. for real life before we oh. lose a hey hey don't judge don't judge you know we're <laughs> nothing I fun you nothing fun in a relationship that's it I just didn't know oh not in a relationship I and mean, that would actually be officially complicated right since i'm married and you know it'd be very weird but you know like i'm no judgment here this is a no judgment zone we we accept all stripes whatever those may be and non-stripes if you don't want stripes you don't need stripes you know any anywhere you want to go with it all right. Just know that stripes are better. <laughs> you cannot use stripes. I'm on the side of stripes. <laughs> what is happening? Where did this go? We're, we haven't even started yet. Where does this fuck? We're not going to even get to the door. We like, <laughs> we're we're going to be here. We like to make sure the wheels go off the bus early, right? We don't want people to think that we actually Our know bus what's going on. <laughs> well, Our bus has never had wheels. I thought you know, we were not Flintstoning railroad. the whole time. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Let's see. Recaps. Who wants to do a recap from last week? <laughs> Quick recap. Recap. John, you're you're like a super smart nerdy guy. You could do the recap. I no? do okay. have notes. Oh, you have notes. Yeah, this, you do. I don't. This guy. Oh, we could roll. We could do. We could roll for it. We could do. A, we could roll for it. Short roll <laughs> gets the gets stick. Stuck doing it. No, the guy's stuck like me. I don't want to roll. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, Lowest John. D20. Lowest D20. Fine. Lowest D20. I only got a 10. Lowest D20. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Motherfucker! <laughs> hey, at least you, you know got what? the one out of the way. Yeah. That's karma because you won't say nerd out. That's called karma. No, it's not. We agree. That's how karma comes back around. I no, won't right. the nerd out. You got Full circle. Just I got the, oh, no, I was going to say everyone still has to roll, but no, I'm the last one, and I got a fucking one. He might have, he might have a point there. He might have a point there. Just say it. I think Roy has to roll too. What? Wait, me? I'm the dungeon master. I'm, I can't. I can't lose to a one. I mean, you could tie with a one and then we can roll again. Yours, yours doesn't show, yeah. by the way. Oh, does, oh. <laughs> it's all the shadow of that a dice, matter. but no result. Take that. <laughs> we trust our DM. I rolled an eleven. I want to show my dice. How do I show? Okay. All right. So, uh, so Anna, do, do you remember? Do you have any recollection of what happened last week at all? Uh, yeah, I didn't take no. Well, it wasn't last week. Just make sure. Oh, sorry. Uh, but I can pretend I know what you and your wife did on your honeymoon or your anniversary. Things just got spicy. I don't know. I don't know if we want to talk about that on. Uh... <laughs> Maybe. Uh... 
<laughs> the stream just got racy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're trying to keep things. This is rated R, right? Uh, well, it will be I... in a minute. <laughs> Perfect. Makes I just saved, made my notes public if you want to look at them. No, I'm going to do this live. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking, like, legit We're notes. doing it live. So, uh, I'm going to tell you uh, from the viewpoint of Alona. Uh, someone was fucking up my friend at the bar. Uh, I stepped in to help said friend. Yagra. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then a fucking troll came out of the troll hole in the middle of the, uh, in the Out bar. of the troll hole? Yep. It's a troll uh -huh. hole. Yeah. If it rhymes, yeah. it's got to work. Uh, mm -hmm. Then uh, the fuckers try to leave. I try to pick one up and use it as a baseball bat. Didn't work. Uh, <laughs> the effort was there, though. It was real. The effort was there. Pay for efforts. Yeah. Pay for efforts. Yeah. Um, then, uh, you know, we defeated we totally not whatever the fuck his face is, who's like a level 400 adventure. No, it was, it, it was definitely it was not Dernan screaming yeah, definitely with his great Durnan. sword. Um, Troll! The hole didn't hit anything, uh, ever. Nope. Uh, um, <laughs> he, he did the troll, and then we're sent to find Floon, which is the dumbest fucking name I've ever heard in my life. What? M-L-O-O-N. Uh, it's not U-N-E? Blagmar. No. Floon Blagmar. The last the name's just name. as good as the first name. This guy got made up fun of in school a lot. I made fun of him in school, <laughs> and I didn't even go to his fucking school. Um, then we went to search for Floon. Well, we were on our way to said this the last known whereabouts. Yeah, the last known whereabouts of Floon. We saw a bunch of fucking uh, dead guys and a couple of dudes who were, uh, you know, being held up by the popo, uh, and that's where we left off. En route to the stupid mm -hmm. dragon. All right, I believe that's I believe that's pretty a okay, man. Well done. Thanks. I'm not even drunk yet. That's uh, <laughs> yay. That's that helped more than hindered. Does that get easier as you get as you drink, or harder as you drink to remember what we easier, did last? Trust easy. Me, right on. All right. Uh, thank you. Everything's easier without inhibitions. It's self control. Is that easier without inhibitions? I. I don't know. Uh, thank bus. you, Alona. Back was... on the bus. Got it, got it. Okay, fantastic. Uh, won't you take some inspiration for that? Take a point of inspiration. That's fantastic. I already have inspiration because I asked what Floon looked like. Do I there get you two? go. You can yeah, have that's number two. We have up to three now on our sheets. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Ooh. You can have three. Speaking. Oh, shit. You get a max of three. Oh shit. You should put this on the interface someplace. All right. Speaking of inspiration, F we are going to implement our inspiration for bits or bits for inspiration. Bitspiration. Bitspiration. We're going to in introduce our bitspiration to spit inspiration uh -huh. tonight. That. Uh, that if you want to provide inspiration to any of the characters or the dungeon master, I count too, you Ooh, can donate 200 bits for the low, low price of 200 bits. You can assign or give inspiration to any character that you like. Can I, I give it to myself? Can we, donate, can we donate bits to give it to ourselves? You know, that I feels like cheating. I, I feel like that's. I feel like can that's I donate cheating. bits to, to inspire another player? You know, we're going to need to have like a time frame on that too, because I can see like you you miss a role that you really want to make. So then you go to the stream. You, yeah. <laughs> you inspire. Well, that, 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 I'm not talking about that snaky. I don't want to get that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, was, I was going to get that snaky. All right. I was talking to, I, I'm talking about like before a big thing. Oh, let's I say that you cannot. Buy it. You can't give yourself inspiration. You can give insp only give inspiration to others. Just like the viewers at home, you can only inspire others. Yes, uh, you in the you in the back. Can you the, the, can, I, the can I impose disadvantage on the DM if I donate bits? I was right there with you. I'll go five hundred bits on that. I'll go five hundred bits on that. I will also give five hundred bits to impose disadvantage <laughs> on the DM. <laughs> This is I like what your head's at. <laughs> we didn't we didn't talk about all this off air. We're now we're like live. Yeah, but that's see, there's no pressure on you off air. Oh, I yeah. see, I see. It's like if you now we got the pressure. In a place, they're more likely to have to say yes because there's a bunch of people watching. So that's mm -hmm. here. If I'm asking you this question now, you're more likely to say yes. Okay, all right, that's fair. Uh, sure, sure, we can we can yeah. buy disadvantage, but that's <laughs> <laughs> only for the DM and not for us. Well, that feels. We're gonna have to talk about how no, we no, implement that. No, no, I say five hundred bits across the board. I'll go across the board. Yeah. I'll be. Fair I'll about accept it. disadvantage for five hundred bits. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, so that's a real time thing. Like, what if I, I, I feel like that's gonna be a little hard to coordinate in real time? Is that no, is no? That they gonna... just they, they, they five hundred bits and they say this person on their next on their next roll. Yeah, it's the next, next roll. next roll after they buy. You got disadvantage. Oh, so I can give you guys disadvantage. I mean, if you, you want to buy, you give us disadvantage you anyways. Pay just, money to give us. I mean, you're the DM. You're allowed to do whatever the hell you I'm want. I'm just looking. I'm just exploring options. I don't know. You can just be like, you guys have disadvantage. That's right, all of you forever. And I'm not paying shit. Nothing. <laughs> yes. Speaking of, oh, also, Boss. other bits. I really need trackers for this. I, I, I think I have one of these. Actually, did I did I not set that up? See, this is good. This is the only thing that's going to allow the grognards to keep pace with us. Oh, they're going to keep imposing disadvantage yeah. on us. <laughs> the grognards are going to oh, keep giving us disadvantage. Oh, they're like old guys with big jobs too, man. They can like afford to <laughs> shut this with down. Big <laughs> jobs. Old guys with big jobs. <laughs> oh no, who might be in trouble, friends? Let's see. Let me take a, let me take a quick look at the. Nathan, I know you're out there on the internet. <laughs> That's right. It still looks cool. Oh, you did it again. Hey, that was supposed to change. It didn't change. What's going on? Let's try to get our production crew out here. Got it. Production crew. All right, try that. Now go there. And then there. And now here. How about little, now? Little, little dab over there. How about now? Uh oh, uh oh, we have a problem. Hold on, let's try this. Oh, all right, OBS. Come on, OBS. Stay with me now. Stay with me now. I need you, OBS. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. And we have... We do. We have a cheer goal set up. We have a cheer goal set up for Anna. So at the end of, at the, end of the day, we're going to want Anna to participate in our nerd out. And for her to do that, we're going to need a cheer goal of 1,000 bits for Anna to participate... In the These are out. different bits than the advantage disadvantage bits. Exactly correct. Exactly correct. These no, have they all to be the same thing. They have to be assigned. No, these have, these should be these. These are exclusively my bits because I'm a greedy bitch. Really, how this works? <laughs> We're gonna. I, I should. I need to kind of reconsider this. Fine then. Fine. 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 Uh, they will be exclusively your bits. My bits. So if we can get to a thousand bits over the course of the show, <clears throat> then we will force Anna to participate in the nerd out. <laughs> wait, uh oh. Wait. Here's typing. What oh. is happening? Fuck, what are you doing? <laughs> Me? Oh, I'm saying hi to people in the chat. I got real chatting. scared all of a sudden. I gotta log in with my other... Be, what, what, what power do I have that everybody would be scared that I'm typing? I'm about to log into my other account so I can I can get there. I can't cheer myself, so fine. Okay, we have dithered enough. It is time to get into it. As Anna mentioned, the party... We, we did leave off where the party had just passed by... A scene on the streets where there was apparently some big fight on the streets between these two gangs that have been fighting like nuts. It was, just it was the Xanathars and the Zens, right? That's correct. Uh, okay, I just want to make sure I have correct yeah, notes. That's right. And this is a this is a thing that's really flared up just in the last ten day or two. You know, these these are longstanding gangs, of course, but generally gangs keep things pretty quiet, like we talked about last week. In the last, they're like herpes; they flare up every once in a while. <laughs> well, this is a this is a big flare up. It's it's pretty. So it's one of those noticeable ones where you gotta stay in for a while. Yeah, it's like all over your yeah, yeah. It's no, hit, terrible. no hitting the club. <clears throat> and they so so the party actually continued past there, and they're coming down a street looking for the skewered dragon. They pass by an, an interesting landmark called the old Zoblob shop, I believe. Is that right? Zoblob? Zoblob shop. Zoblob shop. There's a big beholder in the That was with the stuffed beholder. Yeah. Stuffed. Stuffed Correcto. With Purple stuff. Okay. Yeah, so you guys are within sight of the skewered dragon. So this is a block where the, uh, as you turn the corner, the old Zoblob shop is on the corner. Just a couple doors down, you see a dilapidated looking, um, oh man, you know what I'm going to do in my life is learn how to multitask. I mean, I say that knowing that it's almost certainly not going to happen. But these, uh, it's this dilapidated bar. The front-facing windows that face onto the street are, are actually broken and smashed, and there's a ship's anchor lodged in the roof of this thing. There are clearly some patrons inside as well, but that's a few shops down. 
So, thus the scene opens. Uh-oh. My boyfriend is already actively going against me. What the fuck? David! Val- Ooh, ooh, that's good. That's- no! Oh, David! Bad. He's so awesome. What? I think that's great. I think that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> <laughs> so so the scene opens as the as the party is on the corner standing in front of this this odd shop and looking down the street a few doors down at the tavern of the skewered dragon oh it's late in the day it's it's uh in the evening now around sunset the streets are still relatively crowded as people make their way certainly home from work at this point uh perhaps to their meals and such like that well, that skewered dragon place definitely looks inviting. I think we should go. It's right there. That's what we came here to see. Find this yeah. uh, flume guy, get this over with, and uh, try and pull a favor from Volo. Do you think I'll fit in and help? And Zavrosi will tip his pirate hat. Still got the eye patch on. I'm sure so you'll fit way, in just fine. The way you performed in that last fight, I would say yes. <laughs> Well, shall we go? Yeah, I think we're just walking down the street. I mean, unless we somebody, sally forth. Unless somebody was interested in that stuffed uh, beholder there. Nobody? No takers? All right, to the skewer dragon then. Okay, the skewer dragon, as you open and go in the door, is as inviting as it looked from the street. This place reeks of old pipe smoke and stale beer. And there are... Uh, less than a dozen people here. They Some people are eating meals, but it, none of it looks particularly appetizing. And there is the usual crowd, what you would uh, assume is the usual crowd of people uh, up by the bar. A couple of tables that are full, uh, just a single bartender, a lady who is there. They definitely have a quaint atmosphere here. Shall, we, shall we get some drinks and ask some questions? Should we split up, or are we uh, going to go and interrogate people as a group here? Hey, you are the the more friendly of us. Uh, what would you your approach be? Talk to I, them fucking charming. <laughs> I think I think we should just go about it. The uh, just go and ask some questions, kind of spread out, cover more ground, and see what kind of information we can pick up. I will take the bar. <laughs> no, I want the bar. No, no. <laughs> this is one time I'm actually interested in the questions more than the drinking. I right. re- I remain with my choice. I will go to the bar. All right, Cole, you are at the bar. There are a couple of humans. There is a dwarf. And as you sort of approach the bar, they all give you this sidelong glance and return back to their cups, clearly ignoring you. The, Hello. They they pointedly ignore you as you as you talk to them. In fact, the one of the humans that's sitting next to you actually turns sort of turns a shoulder to you and uh, as if talking to the person next to him, though he doesn't actually talk to them. These these three guys here are all sort of like in their personal cups. Uh, I don't think it, he likes you. It feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like anyone. <laughs> so yeah i'll just uh ask for an ale from the the bartender hey can i please have an ale over here yes the bar darn it hold on technical malfunctions do, 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 technical do. details do, do 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 please stand by while we navigate this Technical detail. Something's wrong with the tap. They're trying to get it fixed right now. And Hold on. Here. I'm coming. Hold your horses. Hold the it. The keg exploded. I got to go real fast. to go put the new keg on. It might, you know, take a couple minutes. It's cool. I don't want that first really frothy one. I don't want a few in. Well, if you're a good bar, if you're a bartender worth any salt, you would <laughs> run a frothy one first, dump it, and then do a good one. Yeah. Or drink it. I mean, just deal with it. Well, I give those away too. Let a bartend like that. That first frothy one, like the first, because you can get like after you, you 
pour most of the froth off. You can like, get like a half a glass or so out of that, right? And you can kind of give that as a freebie while you're pouring the next to whatever. Or drink it but... yourself, as Fox said. <laughs> that's what a good bartender does. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> that's the next level bartender. That's that's where you go. That's what I do. Pro level. All right. Sorry. The um, so this uh, this this lady. This she's this old old weathered looking hey, daughter. lady and she comes up and she's uh yeah yeah sure sure then she she reaches back and fills a smug with this wonderful room temperature frothy stuff oh, she lovely the frothy stuff <laughs> she likes you she gave you the frothy stuff Ooh. oh this this looks fantastic thank you uh i May I ask you a question, madam? Yeah, ask all you want, I suppose. I mean, no. Well, uh, I'm I'm looking for some information about uh, a friend of mine that was here last night. Oh, that that's two nibs, by the way, for the for the drink. Uh, I toss her a silver. Ah, oh, she takes it, comes back. She gives you a handful of nibs. So the nibs are basically copper in Water Davian things. And uh, then the silver would be shards, and then the gold would be dragons. So nibs, shards, dragons. Shards. Yep. Okay. So shards. you give her a shard, basically, a silver, a shard, and With she a loud shard. She uh, <laughs> she takes it. Shard everywhere. She, <laughs> she takes it, gives you uh, a handful of nibs back as change. Hey, uh, you might uh, recognize uh, uh, Volo or or his. Uh, Loud, boisterous friend, Flume Blagmire. They were partying here last night. She steps right. back. She says, I might. I might, Wabbit. I might. Uh, do you possibly know where uh, Flume might be? Look, I, nope. I don't, I don't, nope. I don't know. Or, nothing. I, I, and I slide over uh, 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 an actual like gold piece. Woo! Like a big spender. Uh, all I'm all I'm trying to do is find some information on my friend. I'm I'm worried about him. Volo, your your friend Volo. Uh, Flun, 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 the loud one that was always with him. Yes, yes, the pretty one, and and the the the, uh, the dwarf next to her grumbles. Yeah, the pretty one. Blah. Money, gold, rubbing our faces in it all the time. Can't stand the prick. He's mumbling in this sort of under his breath, a, per a person over from you. And uh, she's she looks over, she's, don't mind him. Yes, uh, in fact, and she slides the dragon over. They they were he actually here last night, I believe. Yeah, so yeah. yes, they were, they were. They were here for some time, in fact, some time. Uh, in fact, they... Uh, as I recall, Floon was joined by that other pretty boy after Volo left. Yes, yes. Yes, in fact. They uh, were. Do, do you by chance know the name of this other handsome lad? Oh, well, yes, of course. Everybody. I mean, not everybody, I suppose. But yeah, we don't see him much down here. But he's he's a pretty famous guy. His name's Renair. You know, Lord Never Ember's son. Rainier. I'm going to misspell uh, this. Yes, the, the never ender boy. He, he always getting into a bit of mischief. Yeah, all I know is they come in here, they throw their money around, and their ugly human faces can't stand the pricks. I, I, I can agree with that sentiment. Uh, I don't get treated all that well sometimes, too, so... Uh, I, but uh, this, this, uh, this never ember. Did they leave this place together, or did they live separately? Oh yeah, no, they left together. They left together. They were here for they were here for a while. They did a good bit of drinking. Drank a couple of bottles of my best wine, in fact. She smiles oh, a little bit at that. And uh, did they mention perchance uh, where they were headed? They don't tell me much. Son, they don't tell me much at all, Sonny. They come in here, they spend their coin. I take it gladly. Don't get me wrong. But the patrons, she glances over at the dwarf, they're not the biggest fans, but their coin spends here as well as any others. In fact, 
better than most. And she kind of looks over at those couple of the humans standing over there. Good tippers they are. They tend to spend their coin more freely than some people I know. Human sort of grumble again. Yes. Uh, I'll ask her for another ale and I'll uh, uh, thank you for your time and I'll take it over to the dwarf and chat him up a little bit. Uh, okay. During all this time, what are the rest of everybody doing? If anything. Well, there was there like, because we know Floon and Volo were gambling here, correct? That's what Volo said. Uh, so is there more gambling taking place right now? Like, is there tables? Like, is there a table that specifically stands out? Like, this, there's oh. these guys playing <clears throat> cards or... No, this would have been from the looks of this place. There's, there's, I mean, who knows, right? There, there could be any kind of Im, impromptu stuff that would. It's pop not up. a regular thing, then. There's not no, like an actual table like a, where people are gaming. Nothing obvious, okay. at least. No, yeah. Okay, um, it's, I assume there's like a barmaid. There is not. There's only the single like bartender a that. Mm, there's no waitress in no? this okay. place. Uh, just the single bartender that old Cole is uh, chatting up nicely. Um, I think Cole's got this covered. I mean, you can step in anytime you want. I, I mean, good fine. If you job. got, if you got, if you got a question that that I haven't asked, feel free to step in. Well, what uh, I'll, I'll nudge Cole and be like, ask her. Uh, it, it just was her, right? The bartender was her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Ask her uh, who Floon was uh, gambling with last night, dude. Uh, uh, one parting question. Do, do you perchance remember uh, who they were gambling with? <laughs> you actually, one of the humans and, and the dwarf, you, you'd notice, they sort of look at you and they, they shoot daggers at you. And uh, she, she sort of smiles a little bit at you and she kind of glances over and she says, you know, I, this I believe, angry guy over here, <laughs> I believe he may have been gambling with a couple of these flies at some point am I, am I right lads and they're like so how how do you do against the against the pretty rich boys last night <laughs> stupid <clears throat> pretty bastard cheaters <clears throat> a lot of uh, sort of incoherent grumbling happening from the uh, the dwarf and the human he's sitting next to well, at that point, I'll, I'll take the other ale and I'll walk up to the dwarf and be like, I'm sorry uh, that you had such a bad time, but, uh, you know, here's to uh, a better outcome next time. Oh, you give him the drink? Yeah. Oh, he's uh, he kind of looks at you and he's takes the drinks. Hmm. So the human and the dwarf are sitting beside each other, right? Yeah, so there's, there's there's a pair of humans and then there's a dwarf on the side of them. And it, and it seems like, at first glance, the, the humans would be separate from the dwarf, but apparently the, the human and the dwarf sitting next to each other at least seem to know each other at least. You're they were sure. gambling with Floon. They, they were both together gambling. They might not be friends, but they're acquaintances. Or, yeah, who knows, you know, who, who knows? Um, they, they're, um, drinking again, like, they're drinking together again tonight. That's all I got to say. Yeah, and this bar, you know, by and large, the, the vibe from this bar is like a sort of uh, piss-off vibe, right? This, far, this bar reeks of regulars who come to this bar very often who really don't like outsiders coming in here with their fancy clothes and throwing dragons around. You know, they, they would like to keep this bar as low-key. Uh, kind of like like your favorite dive bar, and like it's just, people start coming in and it starts getting popular. You're like, no, 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 no. I need my dive bar to stay off I, the radar. I like it when there's only eight people here. Right? You know, what I'm saying like if a dive bar is popular, it completely ruins the whole thing. So it's not a dive bar anymore. Exactly. Exactly. So you're gonna pick up that that vibe. I feel from like this, this place. is coming from a place of hurt in Roy's heart. <laughs> his his favorite dive bar has disappeared. I think so. <laughs> As I was saying about Twice. the bar here in the game, <laughs> there is no. So yeah, and uh, so the dwarf takes the, the 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 mug and he's thanks. Uh, you may I ask you a question about your game last night? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> I, I, I I can I can understand that, but uh, I'm I'm looking for Flume. He owes me a bit of money. <sighs> well, <laughs> um, go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. 
I'll give you advantage on this roll. Uh, Alcohol helps every persuasion roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So, 20. Wait, like, now you're just showing off, okay? Come on. Hey, yo. So... Yeah, he's like, yeah, well, I I can believe it. He got an awfully lucky last night, but I know he got lucky. I can imagine him losing quite a lot. He's quite the amateur. Yes, yes, uh, he's, he's, he loves his games, but uh, I got the better of him a few days ago, and he still owes me money, mm. and I need to find him. Well, last we saw, he was headed out with that pretty boy, Never Amber, to, headed to... Ah, who knows where? I thought you had something there. But, uh... Sorry, friend. I mind. I mind mine, and well, you should mind yours too. If I hey. see him, though, don't you worry. I'll let him know, and I'll even collect it for you from him. How much does he it, owe you, friend? It was fifty gold. Oh, <laughs> he sort of rocks back on his chair. It's like, oh. 50 dragons yes well don't don't oh holnar he'll collect that don't you worry i'll 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 collect it and, and hold it for you as that, soon as well, i see if him you, if you see him you you let me know <laughs> i yes i don't believe i caught your name cold cold void fan oh when you say it like that it sounds so sexy i like it it's a very great very nice name Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> did, did I hit your juicy spots? Perhaps <laughs> just a... Did you just say juicy spots? Perhaps he did. just yes, a did. little bit. Ah, it's a very nice <laughs> name. What can I say? <laughs> Wheels. Pewing. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Juicy spots. <laughs> Let it sink in. I said it. I don't want it to sink in. I want it far away from me. <laughs> hey, it's Sunshine Nola. Hey, Sunshine. Sorry. Um, so, uh, it sounds like we got to go maybe try and find this Rainier gentleman. Yes. As difficult as it would be to talk to the uh, to Lord Neverember's son, possibly. Uh wonder where we would find him. I mean, it's, it's the next person in line. Uh, in line for uh, a hot dog? What do you mean? It's the No, it's the next person that we have attached to these two people. It's the only person we have attached to these exactly. two people. So uh, the problem is, is, where do we find Never Ember? I mean, would either we could, of Zavrosky or... In the street. <laughs> would either of Zavrosky or Jake have rubbed elbows with Renair? Entirely possible. Certainly possible. You, you you certainly know of him. So, uh, Lord Dagult Never Ember was the previous open lord of Waterdeep. He's a really big deal. He, basically, he became, or declared himself, at least, the l lord of, of, come on, brain, the other town nice. with the persimmon heist. Why is my brain turned off suddenly? Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. Gate. Baldur's Gate. No, I'm sorry. Neverwinter. Thank you. Uh, he. <laughs> I just needed the memory jog. So, uh, Lord Never Ember has open, had openly declared himself the Lord of Neverwinter as well as the Lord of Baldur's Gate. And it was a big, big hubbub. There was a lot of talk, which you guys have heard, about him embezzling money and not running the city of Waterdeep, right? And he was actually ousted not very, very long ago. And that is when uh, Laurel Silverhand became the new open lord of Waterdeep. So <clears throat> there is, you know, some talk, and this is in fact Zavrosky, the, the talk that you've heard of, and there's this, this term, I guess we'll call it, Never Ember's Enigma. And it is this, this secret, something, some puzzle, some secret that he had. And you believe, or have heard at least, that this secret is that he had been embezzling all that money that was being spent rebuilding cities and such like that after the tirade of the, the Dragon Queen. And 
that's where you had that that rumor come from. So you're, you're sort of tying this in. Now this isn't a given thing, but you you believe, or at least you've heard, that this is some some sort of tie-in. Uh, Would we have any idea where we where Rainier might frequent? All that said, you don't know where he might frequent, but he certainly has an estate. Uh, there is the Never Ember Estate, which is so a... So we would know where his house is, essentially. Sure, you could, yeah, easily, yeah. You could definitely... If, if you're not... You're probably... If you're not first-hand familiar with it, you can certainly find it easily. And you can be first-hand familiar with it if you want. I'm, I'm fine with that. So the... And you guys are sort of talking all this, and the, the dwarf pipes up, and he says, Yes! Well, they probably did go back to that fancy estate of his, though I'd be surprised if they made it. When those two walked out of here, they were stumbling awfully hard. They may have taken my money, but let me tell you this. And he sort of puffs up a little bit. Those fancy boys can't keep up drinking with old Holnar. <laughs> Holnan. <laughs> I'll tell you that. They were bumping into doors and everything else on the way out of this place. I wouldn't be surprised if they landed in a gutter nearby. <laughs> Someone stop alone from challenging this fantasy drinking contest right now. Someone stop her. Uh, <laughs> oh, I really I mean, we want can't, to. We can't head over to the Rainier Estate until tomorrow morning at this point, so we might as well just drink. You're, you're asking Jake to be a good influence on him. I kind of want to challenge him to a drinking <laughs> contest. Oh. <laughs> you drink yeah. yourself a drink out. Mm. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. All right. Alona, who has been standing by the door, arms crossed this entire Here's time, drinking. Uh, is gonna is gonna step up next to the door, look at him, and go. Drinking contest. All right. <laughs> he's he, he didn't say anything about it, but that's what connected in her mind. He's he's sitting on the stool, and he kind of looks up at you, and he jumps off the stool, lands, and he's like a foot and a half shorter <laughs> than he was. <laughs> <laughs> You're a tall one. God, God I, I pledged to not do the Scottish dwarf yeah, accent. Going for it? You're a tall one. Yeah, I, can't. Scottish dwarf. I can't not do it. I can't not do you Scottish dwarf. Bad attempt at Scottish dwarf. So not even a good Scottish dwarf. It's just like, I, I know, I know. It's horrible. I know. My attempt at New York is garbage. So it's fine. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, so, uh... So he looks at this, oh, you think you're a, can, you think you're a drinker, eh? She's going to uh, grab two bowls, two dragons, and slam it down on the counter. Uh, well, uh, uh, well. He, he looks up at his friend. Bob! Bob, can you <laughs> spot me? It's a human. Why? But humans are called Bob. They're Bobs. Come on. I might be a bit short after last night. Bob, this is. And he looks up at, at the towering or half orc, easily twice his height. Uh, and uh, this is. This is no contest, Bob. How could I possibly lose to this? <laughs> this gigantic being. How could you possibly lose? Bob, Bob looks down and he's like, Holden, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It's a great fucking idea. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Very well then. Bob's like, all right, all right. He pulls out a purse and he's puts his two dragons on the bar to match yours. All right. How do, how does one run a drinking contest? Hmm. Usually Con saves. saves. <laughs> Yeah, usually a bunch of con saves. Con saves. Con saves. And you can intimidate. Oh, yeah, I can. You're drinking. Glare him down as I'm like just flex on shots. him, just real hard. Just, I'm, th I'm two size. Like I'm literally twice the size of him. I could just look at him and probably scare the poor thing. Oh, let's see. Oh, Meanwhile, Jake's just like, have fun, <laughs> be safe. Well, we can't go anywhere until the morning, really. I mean, the state's going to be closed at this point. We might as well just get drunk. Yeah. <clears throat> Crush Sounds a small like a plan. I'm 20 and in a bar. What do you expect me to do? All right. I need to think about this. I need to think about this for, for just a minute. Um... You have exactly one minute. The timer has started. 
All right, one minute. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pour a beer, and think about this. All right, one minute, sixty seconds. I'm gonna time you. Be entertaining. I can't be entertaining. I, yeah, that's too much pressure. I can't. I'm be starting, wait, the on sixty seconds can't hasn't started yet. Hold on. No, wait. I think it has. No, I already, I started the timer. Yeah, the timer's You're, you're like twenty five seconds in now. now. Go. <laughs> also, does he yeah. always wear that shirt when he DMs? I have not Sometimes seen him in a does. different shirt. Sometimes he does. Pretty sure I have not seen him in a different shirt. Hello, chat. Hi, chat. Aw, all of my friends are here. There you go. Look friends at that. Important. I have supported friends. All the way up to 30 people. Damn, oh, wow. be popular. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. It's for the voice. It's for Cole's voice. That's why everyone's <laughs> here. Just for that, sexy that smooth, smooth. Hello. We are all here. Can See, you panties just drop. a story in that oh, voice? No. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll, so, who who just bets the dice gods are gonna hate me in this drinking contest, though? Like, oh. I already know it's gonna happen. First roll, gonna hit the fucking floor. It's you gonna... did at least roll a one already, so. But see, that just bodes poorly because the dice gods are like, hey, you know what? We already had one, and I had two <laughs> poor <laughs> dice rolls the last game I played, which were two crit fails in a row. So. Okay, it happened. Whew, my ass. <sighs> That's tight I'm timing. Gonna uh, you're you're gonna do so good. Oh. Watch as I hit the floor. I believe, I believe in you. <laughs> you believe in the I power believe, of Alana? There, I believe in you and your there, power there is, there is the power of Alana's gut, and I believe. <laughs> believe I will be it. sipping on mead while you do it. Uh, ooh. Fun. I need my cheering section, Jake, so. Okay, so shot, you're... Shot, shot. Is this shots? Yeah, we're doing shots. Oh, they're doing Indiana Jones style, just upside down shot glass after they're done, just stacking them up. Well, I guess you can kind of do stacking them up. whatever. Let's see. What you probably should do is race to drink the frothy, warm stuff oh. that they have in these cups. And then between Okay, my those... mouth is so much, and like, just esophagus is so much bigger. I can take in so much more liquid than this poor man. He's a dwarf, you know, and I don't... They're hearty folks. They are yes, hearty folks. I'm a half orc and I'm beefy. Look, no, no doubt, no doubt. Volume, well, I don't know. I mean, beefy. Are dwarves... <laughs> Are dwarves shorter because they've got, they've got short legs, right? Like dwarf legs. Their torsos are probably. I always go with like just the shorter the person, the closer to hell, which is why I'm an evil person. So like dwarves are just really. Evil. You're not evil. That's only Duragar. No, <laughs> oh, they're very close to hell. All right, let's do it like this. Let's say that your con modifier is a number of and we're talking so we're not talking like drinks over time we're talking like pounding drinks right yeah pounding your, drinks. your con modifier you can have that many drinks for free after that <laughs> i thoroughly forgot how low my con modifier was compared to what? Strike. wait what did you, wait, what have you wait done? a minute you're not actually that's good at con saves either are you that's one of your primary stats <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. What? Grants are really high. My con is not. Turns out, turns out this half orc is very strong, but not so durable. Here's the thing: it makes sense that she got in this drink. Six intelligence. It makes sense she got in this drinking contest. We'll go with that. Totally in. Totally in. So let's see. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be great. Okay. I think I just made my here we go. Gonna be dragging and drunk half orc out of here. Perhaps. Yeah. Can <laughs> you guys carry me out? How strong is Cole? I'm like 200. None of us are strong. <laughs> we all dumped I got a 10 strength. <laughs> yeah, y'all did strength dump, so I had to not. <laughs> oh, it's going to take all three of us to carry you out of here, guys. <laughs> Maybe Great. more. Let's see. All right, so. Drinking contest. Is it, is it drink? I just had another thought. Is a drinking contest necessarily who can drink the most? Or should there yeah. be like some sort of it's, speed it's type who thing involved? Who get thick and who holds it down? Yeah. Oh, it could be beer pong. No, well, actually, no. It could be beer pong because if that's dex based, it, I got this. It could be just who drinks the fastest, a certain amount of drinks. It doesn't have to be endless drinks. Can I, can I muscle? Beers. Can I muscle the beer in some way? Can I use my muscles? I use my throat muscles to drink the beer faster. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I just will. I just will the alcohol to fill up my muscle space. Um, All right. That way. I'm All right. All right. So he says, "Okay, very, very well, very well. Let's see. Let's see who can drink this 
mug the fastest. We'll each drink a mug. We'll gulp it down. Slam the mugs down. Last one down loses. Right. All right. So you guys, you guys um, actually grab your mugs. You slam it down, and the mugs hit the bar simultaneously. Too close to really be able to make a call. He's oh, like, that was close. Huh? That was close. Very well then. Well, we should make this another one. Let's add a bit of endurance to it. Let's add a bit of endurance to it. What do you say? And he says, um, he said, shh, I cannot remember names for crap. Uh, he says, Belric, the lineup, please. She's like, the lineup. Very well. Like so the lineup. She she it, it comes out on a ski. She she Shot actually. Skis! So she. Oh, Dust boots. Shot so paddles. She actually makes these oars. Oars with shots. She takes these mugs and she lines. She pours six mugs and she lines up three to each of you. Three mugs of this foamy, lukewarm stuff. Then she goes under the bar and pulls out this bottle. This opaque bottle can't see through it and she pulls Are out these small cups them? pulls out these small cups and she pours out six of these cups as well she sets I'm, I'm sorry four four of those cups as well and she sets those small cups in between each three so that so apparently this is going to be a sequence now a sequence of big mug of Ooh, foamy shot. lukewarm stuff shot of mysterious dark liquid foamy <laughs> shot foamy so it'll be five drinks total <laughs> foamy shot foamy foamy shot <laughs> Shot, shot, <laughs> Five drinks total. So okay. the we can make this. I guess we'll make it your your choice. I'll do decks. We could call it either athletics or acrobatics, whichever is better. I don't know, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll call it grappling. I don't know, right? <laughs> can I grapple? So, yes, you can. Okay, so yes, you get a very good grip of the on the mug. <laughs> No, you're gonna hate Dude, the mug's not going. My anywhere. athletics is five, <laughs> my acrobatics is four. <laughs> Listen, okay. half orc monk. <laughs> All right, you're a, you're a strength monk. So the yeah, I'm kind of a strength monk. so we'll do a we'll do a check. We'll do a acrobatics or strength check. The winner of the check is the first okay. one to finish, and will be the winner of the drinking contest. Now, having taken five drinks. Then you're going to have to make a constitution save right. to keep Get everything down. down. All right, so it'll be the first X drinks will be the you can you can absorb through your constitution modifier. And then beyond that, you'll start taking penalties to the save. So, for example, if you've got a plus one constitution modifier, you're going to take <laughs> five drinks. You'll be able to absorb the first one. And then you're going to make a con save at minus four. At the end. Minus four. Yeah, at the end. All right. <clears throat> Whoa, so you said I can do acrobatics or athletics? That's right. And the DC is going to be eight plus the number of drinks. So DC will be 13. All right. So to win the race, athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Athletics. All right. Athletics. All right. Let's see. I will use athletics for this guy as well. Strength, I guess. I don't know. I don't even I'm know what scared. This is. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'll roll first. Here we go. So you guys start drinking, and the the, the bartender drops the flag. And go. And he says, gulps. He's down. Shot. Gulp. Shot. Gulp. Shot. Gulp. And he roll. Wait, actually, hold on. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no. I'm letting him roll. Like it. It. I'm letting him roll that advantage. What the fuck? Because he's oh, a pro. Not a natural twenty. Oh no. He is actually kind of a professional drinker. He actually is a. You can like, still beat a twenty. This game 20. is rigged. This is All you rigged. gotta do is roll a twenty. So he's a, he's rigged. he's only got a plus two bonus. So he's got a twenty two. So you could beat him. Eighteen or better. Eighteen or better. Okay. No, no, you got a plus five, right? Your athletics is plus five, so you could tie him with only a seventeen. You got inspiration that you could use. It's fine. I'm gonna use inspiration. Uh oh, here goes the inspiration. This is how we spend it. This is how we spend it. Come on. What the fuck? No, that didn't help. I'm, no, I'm using my last inspiration. I, don't care. <laughs> I have too much pride to not win. I will not lose to this stupid dwarf. God damn. All right. So, so the dwarf, the dwarf beats you, and this is—it's not unsurprising. This is this is 
he's clearly this is like his realm right he's like the guy who comes to the bar to drink basically every day it's, it's what he does he, he he's it's all he's got in life it's the only thing you're so I rude in monastery for six goddamn years all right so but now now you guys have to make a saving story to keep it down so the dc oh, is going to be 13 8 plus number of drinks which is dc 13. uh his con can absorb three so he's gonna have a minus two so his dc will be basically 15 plus so i need an 11 or higher to make the save all right he makes a save all right alona does she puke it make up? the save uh, no does she puke on the dwarf yeah, it's gotta be on the door. Oh, it will be. Like right, so shower just do a, style. Do a con save. I don't want to do this. How's the weather up there? It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Not even. So he he actually looked okay. a little green for a second. He like he like sucks these down. He's like going super speed for the dwarf, and he sucks them all down. And he's like at the end, he's like. Oh. <sighs> And uh, he, he sort of looks at you, and he's like, he drags the dragons over. Nice try, lassie, but, well, oh, Halnan, he's had a drink or five in his life. <laughs> Anytime you want to come back and try that again, you let me know. Oh, Halnan will be here. Halnan, Halnan. I'm really glad we Halnan. didn't put money down on and, this. And now, and now she has a rival. <laughs> and the, the, the human guy next to him actually, like, pokes him. Takes the gold from him. Thank you very much. It gives Halden one dragon. So Halden ends up netting one dragon from this from this whole thing. He played. You. <clears throat> I'm gonna go sulk back into her spot at the door. <laughs> In the meantime, as you guys are, are hanging out here, the uh, the clientele continues, and this you know this, this this has been probably you guys have been here for probably most of an hour at this point. You've had your drinks, uh, uh, Elona. You are, oh, you're not poisoned, but you have been drinking a bit, so you're not technically poisoned, then that's good. I'm just feeling. And you guys do. Feeling cool. You guys at the bar are hanging out there, and as, as you're watching this, and, and, the, and the excitement dies down, because the whole bar is like pretty excited. As the, oh no, we lost Jake Dean. As the. All eight of them? The excitement, <laughs> as the excitement dies. Yes, right. <laughs> but like, this is, for this bar, this is a pretty exciting thing, though probably dreadfully normal. As excitement dies down, you guys can't help but over here next to you at the bar, a gnome is sitting on one of these bar stools. And he's, uh. How do you he, get up there? He jumps up, he climbs up. Yeah, he, you know, dude, gnomes, dwarves, they can, they can climb there, man. This is what they do. He's agile. Yeah. Those itty bitty. There's and actually a step ladder. He and, uh, he and the bartender are just sort of chit chatting. Apparently, again, he's apparently another regular. And he is dressed, you notice, dressed in these purple robes, sort of everything about him is like purpley, purpley, purpley. And as they're talking, you overhear him saying, yeah, you know, the typical stuff, pretty slow day today, nothing, nothing really much going on, nothing, oh, sorry, gnome voice, nothing much going on, pretty, pretty slow day, yeah. I guess not every day can be as exciting as last night, you know? I really thought that was going to be pretty fun. But even that, well, at the end, I suppose it turned out to be pretty boring. Those two never really stood a chance against those thugs. Ah, well. <sighs> oh, well. I'm sure I'm sure they're fine. Things all turn out, don't they, Belric? And the, bar the bartender looks over. Yes. Yes, I suppose they do. Drinking games concluded. Zavrosky will slide over and say, I heard you talking about a fight with some thugs. Oh, he, yeah, looks surprised. Who, oh, oh. who? He kind of eyes you up. He looks at your, your fancy hat and your eye patch. Who, oh, who are you? He'll, he'll bend and bow at the hat. I am Johnny Sparrow, and you are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, you cracked me up. <clears throat> Johnny Sparrow. What an odd name. Odd name. Well, I am 
<laughs> funny, funny story. Funny story about who I am. You know, these days, I suppose I just call myself old Zoblob. And why not, right? Why not? I may as well. Zoblob, I run the this shop just down the street there. You've probably seen it. I've got a bunch of amazing stuff. In fact, it looks like you may have purchased some of the stuff in my shop. Oh, maybe. <laughs> you do seem very fancily dressed. Like the purple, just like the beholder in your window. Oh, these old rags? Oh, yes. Well, you know, you you embrace it, right? Embrace it. Why not? But if you don't mind, you were talking about some thugs, some action outside last night. Uh, and you see him sort I'll of... I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. Make me a persuasion check. I'll buy him a drink. Uh, all right, you can get advantage on that. Advantage, you just like a drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's uh, he, he looks at you and says, "Well, you don't look like City Watch well. type, and I could use a drink. Come to think of it, yeah. Well, sure, 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 sure." And the the bartender goes over and she she goes like, huh? "Busy night, busy night," and she's like. Jingling her purse and all these coins that, that they're making this evening. He's uh, he's like, yeah, well, you know, wasn't really much of a fight. A couple of fancy boys staggering down the street to wherever, who knows where. And this group of guys jumped him. And uh, I didn't catch all the whole thing, but apparently they, they just sort of dragged them down. They were brief scuffle, but then they sort of dragged them down. So, no business of mine, right? Have you seen those thugs before? I, uh, I mean, not those particular guys. No, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not involved in any of, you know, that. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's not in your own business. Maybe they've just been around the alleys before, and maybe they've even bothered you. Well, I, I, I don't know these I don't know these guys necessarily. Uh, I, I know I know they're I know they're hmm. Tell you what, friend, since you rolled a twenty six on your persuasion, I'll let you know they were they were flying the colors of the the winged snakes, if you know what I mean. Wing snakes. All and right. they, they, yeah, and they took these guys. They, they dragged them off down Candle Lane. But, again, like I said, no business of mine, and I'm not trying to get wrapped up in any of that stuff, if you know what I'm saying. Everyone knows to keep their nose out of things like that. Johnny Sparrow doesn't talk about other people's <laughs> names. <laughs> if anyone asks... Johnny Sparrow, what an odd name. Where you, where's that from, friend? I don't... That's a strange. Oh, maybe you will recognize me as my actual self. This is a character I played. Uh, I'm the great Zavrosky. Maybe you've seen me on, in the shows. Hey, uh, I, I, yeah, um, no. He'll like use predestination to like do a little image of himself in his natural form, in his hands. Oh, fancy! Whoa, look at that! And she, he's like, whoa, oh, wow, that's. That is fancy. You, you should stop at my shop. I have some things you would love to look at. I'm telling you. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow, though. Tomorrow. Today, yes. I, I have clothes. I'm here at the bar. It is, it is closed. Oh, it's not time for working anymore. Yes, yes, yes. Last night, late night. This night, early night. You know. Well, thank you very much. I'll be sure to stop by and let you know if your information helped us. But... Of course, I won't mention you at all if you run into any other people. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, no. Good idea. Good idea. Yes, yes. Also, Blob will be seeing you then. For sure. The Blob. Everyone in this town with really dumb names. Does it? I'm writing a letter to Chris Perkins to say, Dear Chris, you <laughs> make stupid names in your do. books. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> I'm going to tweet that tomorrow. So remind me tomorrow. I'm doing it right now. Tweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At Chris Perkins. You make stupid names in your book. 
If you don't believe me, <laughs> come well. check out Nerd League Gaming on Twitch, and Anna will explain why. Dude, if I get to talk to Chris Bergen, that's fine. Like, that would be fucking... Are you kidding me? Like, that's cool. Maybe he's watching. Maybe... Hey, Chris, if you're watching right now, you let <laughs> us know. Nice. We'll bring you... I'll, I'll, I'll get you in. I'll get you in on Zoom. We'll get you in. We'll get you a spot. I'll, I'll make a camera frame just for you. We'll get you to talk to Anna, and you guys can talk about the names that you create in the uh, in in the, in the book. <laughs> book thing. Blue. Wait, wheels, bus, back on bus. Yes, wheels back on bus. And you said that was Snake Alley. Uh, Candle Lane. Candle Lane. Yeah, I, I, he said that the the guys that jumped in were wearing wedding snakes gear. The yeah. the flying snakes. They were they were sort of flying. Flying snakes, not wind snakes. Flying yeah. snakes, yeah. Flying snakes. So, with Jake and Cole being kind of in the underbellies, I assume that Zdrowski saves this. Oh, yeah. Flying snakes are well associated. In fact, you guys may recall Iagra has a tattoo of a flying snake on her, um, on the back of her skull, like sort of on her neck and, and the back of her skull. They, that is a symbol of the Zentarum here in town. The... Zentarum are sort of known for using these flying snakes as messengers or to to places and they've adopted that as kind of their symbol so this basically you guys would know that this was uh, he's saying that a group of Zentarum dudes apparently jumped a couple of fancy boys staggering out of this huge dragon last night and dragged them off down candle lane So it was the Zents then. The Zents grabbed Floon and Rainier. Not that I care about Rainier so much because we weren't hired about to find Rainier, but it sounds but, like the but Zents we, grabbed. We him. care about Rainier because of information he might have exactly. about Floon. Yes, about Floon <laughs> or other. Zovrowski things. is considering personal. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Or that. Yeah, he's, I mean, Renair Never Ember is a pretty, I'm going to say popular. I mean, certainly a very well-known name. You know, again, Dagult Never Ember. Everybody in the city of Waterdeep knows Dagult Never Ember. And everybody minus two people knows his son, or knows of his son, Renair. So rumors abound and swirl and everyone will have a different uh, opinion of who he is or how he is or whatever but those names are widely known by everyone would well, Jake know of any Zent bases nearby in the area Jake is not much associated with the Zents um, no not at all but because he's associated with their enemies maybe yeah or maybe no. he dealt with them in a, in a time so he would like to for sure you know it'd be great to know the safe houses and hideouts of Zentarum um, but those are pretty well kept secrets you might know of one or two nearby Xanathar locations but you know the Zentarum keep those places hidden to themselves Well, if, if you're up for it in the dark, we could head down the alley. I mean, it's the only thing we've got going on, and I've had enough beer for to do anything, really. <laughs> so has Alona. <laughs> <laughs> she's six drinks in. <laughs> she's, she's ready to go. Oh, so six foot eight. She's but not poison. I, yeah, poison. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, with, a, with a plus one con modifier. Listen. She's a little bad. I'm pretty sure I can outdrink Elona. I'm almost positive I'm I can actually sure just. I can outdrink Elona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I can do that. All right, so you guys, uh, yeah, and, and and the dwarf has certainly in all of this, the the dwarf Halnan has certainly cozied up to Elona. Like you have clearly earned whatever you have to earn from him to sort of become a regular, and he is gladly sort of. Ch chatting you random talking with you uh which you know he he finds great he's back on his stool as you guys sit on stools you're, you're much more closely matched on stools right you're only maybe a foot taller than him on a stool as opposed to three and a half feet taller than him standing up and you guys uh i made a friend guys <laughs> I made a friend. yeah absolutely absolutely uh 
me end the session there. So like the happiness is just alone and made a friend. Yeah, sure. All right. So um, next week we Bye. will find out if uh, anything else in the world happens other than drinking contests or wheels on the bus or go round and round. round well, and we can round. go check the alley by Zoblob's place, I guess, and uh, see if we can find any sign. It's only been a day, but I assume there's lots of traffic going through there. So I don't know what would be left. I mean, it doesn't depends on how far loop. away they have to drag them. What well, was it? Was the alley that was up by Zoblob's shop, right? That's what Zoblob says. Yeah. I mean, there's that's the only thing we've got right now, and if we know they got jumped by Zents, then they're definitely not at Rainier's estate. So that's a pointless uh, endeavor. Might just want to be prepared going into dark alleys at night. Yeah, we're always prepared to go into dark alleys at night. That's what alone is for. <laughs> do you not see the half work. <laughs> I'm ready. How do you guys know she doesn't fight better drunk? You don't oh, know that. You I can't know. possibly know that. Does the pain. This is better. This is better ambience. Okay, so you guys are headed out of the skewer dragon, then just up the road so it's actually it's actually uh a pretty short way so the uh, i forget the name of the street you hey, guys Zoblobs came down was just up the street from it was it yeah Zoblobs is right up the street so he mentioned he that the they took him to candle lane which is actually on the other side of the street you guys originally came down but it's a fairly narrow alleyway and time has passed the streets are less crowded now it's completely dark and the Streets are mostly lit along this area. They're mostly lit by lanterns spaced out along the street. But many of these lanterns are broken. Not all of them, but lots of them. This, this area of town is clearly in sort of bad repair. As you go past Zoblob's shop, you kind of glance over at the, the purpleness of it all. And hmm. just one more street down from the street you guys came down is actually Candle Lane. <clears throat> the... Uh, it, we call it a lane. It's 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 not much more than a simple alley, uh, a, a a narrow alley that does this. <laughs> Use your words. So it's a, a a narrow alley. In fact, as you turn up this alley, gloom envelops this narrow alley. Uh, it's sure it's dark here, guys. Yeah, it's dark here. So the buildings rise up very high. And the, the night, the moon is not yet risen on this night. So it's actually very dark in this alley. There are lanterns along the alley, but every single one of them has been broken. There is a single light that pierces the darkness down near the end of the lane, a faint flickering, um, sur almost surely a candle in a lantern in one of the lantern stands a bit down this alley. How are you, Jake, in the dark? Do you want a torch? I mean, we can see to the other side. It's just a dark alley. It's not like it's completely pitch black. We'll be fine. Huh? It'll be fine. Where have I heard that before? Let me see. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. You've read the meme. Um, can we... Can Jake make a perception check to see if there's anything um, weird going on in the alley? Actually... An investigation to look for any clues of the signs of the struggle of the the two gentlemen being dragged off down the alley. <clears throat> uh, let's see. That would be, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll do an investigation. I was thinking maybe like a tracking, but um, yeah, let, we'll do a search. Do a. Uh... Can I can I give him the help action? Yeah, you guys can all look around. So so if you guys want to. Um... I was just trying to give him advantage. Yeah, sure. So you can take uh, take advantage on your advantage. perception for that. Inve perception or investigation? It makes a difference. Uh, it does. So this would be perception. Like this is sort of trying to find the secret thing in the room. Wouldn't that be investigation? Uh, investigation is um, figuring out how the thing works. That's sort of the difference. Okay. So yeah, wisdom. Okay. The wisdom check is like spotting it, and the intelligence check is the figuring it out. So you're trying to spot it. So I'll roughly make this a perception. 
I'll take that. And double six, no, nine. Uh, 13 total. Uh, you do not, there is, as you surmised, um, there, there has been a fair bit of traffic in this area and you can't really pick out any sort of thing that would attract your attention um, as far as a scuffle or, or anything definite in this area. And and the streets here are, are cobblestones as well. That makes it a bit harder. It's not just dirt roads. It's actually sort of stone street out here so a little it's too little dark tougher. i can't see anything i, I see nothing is, is there a trail of breadcrumbs that we can follow there are no breadcrumbs that you can see is there a glass slipper on some stairs oh i'm putting a glass slipper in this fucking store you can believe that <laughs> there's not a glass slipper here but there is going to be a motherfucking glass slipper let me assure you <laughs> we're having a glass slipper somewhere in here i'm all out of ideas you may not recognize um, it as a glass slipper are there any doors along the alleyway, or is it just like solid stone? No, no, no this like, alley this is, is the sides of the houses. Yeah, no, this alley is um, is actually there are several doors. This is sort of a you're kind of in if you can imagine kind of a warehouse district type place, right? So the from Zoblobs down to the Skewer Dragon, it's like Zoblobs, couple of residences probably, and then Skewer Dragon down this way. You get into what is more residences, but there are also some some big stores so there are do definitely doorways you can see down this down this alleyway not many but a few that are that are down here There's a lot of tall buildings lots of walls a couple of doorways and again this the, the alleyway goes on a bit so you guys are kind of standing at the entrance to this alleyway sort of um are, are any of the torches or candles or lanterns still have candles in them or are they just all broken and stolen only one a bit down the way these yeah, yeah. yeah this, well, this jake will pull out his hooded lanterns he's got a hooded lantern okay and he'll light that up to kind of light the way sure taking sure that in his off hand okay so the, yeah this is the... does that does anything light up is there anything else more noticeable down the light so there are looking down this alleyway it goes probably about 50 feet to to the end it actually ends in a well, uh, a, a wall face, and that's where the last that last candle stand is. That, that's actually lit. So this dead ends. It, this does dead end. This this particular street does it end. But there are, in addition to the normal wall rays, there are there are three doorways that you can spot, sort of moving your lantern around, at various locations down this alleyway. Well, they either either went in through one of those doors, or they beat them and left, and we don't know what happened to them from there. Want to look for a body in the trash? Is it possible they took a beating, uh, got robbed, and uh, kind of made their way off from there? Could be. I, I've assumed, by the way, and you're searching, that you guys have not gone down the alleyway. I'm assuming you're sort of looking out in the, the main street that this... Kind of looking this... down the alley more so than going down. Exactly, exactly. So I'm, again, I'm assuming that you guys are standing at the alleyway looking down this 50-foot-long... That passage, alley. Just say alley. Walk down the, just walk down the alley. Yeah, I, you all I, ladies I can... first. You know what I always say. Oh, if you want, that. the other option is I go staggering in like I'm drunk, and then hopefully nobody jumps me if anyone's there. That... Well, yeah. listen, if anybody's there, they know we're here because I have this lantern lit up the half the alleyway. <laughs> So you're, you're, uh, no offense, but do we really think you're going to be able to hold your own if someone does jump you? Hey, did you did, see did him you in the other bar? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is the great Zabarski you're talking about here. He did much better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Cole. He's yeah, still struggling with that a lot. Because otherwise we're going to have a ton of problems because he's going to hit himself before he hits someone else. All right. So, Alona, you're headed down the alley. I paused when he brought up the other plan. Oh, oh, it's okay. I mean, if you're willing to put yourself on the line, Zavrovsky, I'm not going to argue with you. All right. He's going to just give me a moment. I think I, I dropped something over here, he says very loudly as he just kind of stumbles, ha pretending to be quite drunk. All right. Uh, roll me and wanders check. into the alley. Zavrosky. See if you can find your coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> deception, you said? Uh, I'm sorry, perception. 
Perception. Okay. Yeah. As you as you sort of go, go down this alley, I'm imagining. Actually, I'm sorry. You're not searching. Um, tell me your passive perception. That's a better a better ruling, right? Would you say a better ruling as a DM? Passive perception. You should know his passive perception. I should sir. know. I know. I, I, <laughs> it says 11, but I think that's the. The yeah, normal so, one. So yeah, this is the weird too. part of, of online DMing. I don't have all my little. I need to like make my DM screen where I got all my little note cards for all the all the characters that are in there. Uh, eleven. Yeah, okay, it's on so, the party sheet. So if one you thing. Open the party sheet. Mm-hmm. In fantasy grounds, top right. I mean, it's hidden for players, but wait. all of our stats should be if you Man. drag each one of us onto the party sheet. Dra- wait, wait drag, drag. Have to drag. Oh my goodness. Let's see. If I have to drag you here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and should have all our stats. You can actually make that visible to us too if you want. What? So Wait. that we can see each other's stats and stuff. But you, you can't don't have see to. party sheets? We can't see each other's stats and stuff. You have to turn that on. Hold on, let me look at this. This is this is very interesting by um Is that a setting in Fantasy Grounds? This is a cool party. Part of Fantasy Grounds party show characters to clients. It's like in the game. GM's yeah, yeah, gotcha. Second Hold section on. there, uh, near the bottom. Party show characters to client. Wow, look at that! All right, can we see? Let me see. Let me. Oh. Yep. Let me show us. So at party home. sheet is top right button for this everyone else. Way more interesting than the garbage. If you guys ever look at 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 our Twitch stream and you see me just showing garbage on there, it's like, hey, dude, you're showing garbage on there. Put something worth looking at on there, and I will find something worth looking at on there. So this is a cool feature of Fantasy Grounds. This is a quick party summary sheet where we can see health we can see hit dice that are remaining healing hit dice that are remaining oh, i love this this is great fantasy grounds Mwah. Mwah. fantastic thank you thanks john i'm glad you're such a are you how are you such an expert are you like one of the fantasy grounds coders or something what's the no i just i learned how to use it <laughs> by uh, by playing <laughs> modules by myself. <laughs> no, I learned it, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> my bad. Uh, it came out that great, did it? Oh my god, that was fantastic. No, that came out perfect. <laughs> oh man. Ten out of ten. Wow. <laughs> You murdered Roy. He's <laughs> hanging himself. Crying. Oh my God. <laughs> no, before I before I joined groups like five years ago, I tried running some campaigns by myself, so I had to learn the whole system. So is it there wasn't someone who was about to jump you in the dialogue? Like, be prepared to jump. <laughs> we all enjoyed it. The buildings collapse. It's yeah. all done. Several <laughs> skis <are> dead. <laughs> It's it's a uh, building mimic. <laughs> no, no, I've I've gotten to an age in my life where I've I've basically no more pride. It's gone out the window. So oh, hey, sick burn. I'm I'm gonna give you big props for for clever burn. That's great. All right, <laughs> fine, fine then. Sorry, no, <laughs> that's good. Um, so that's good. All right, so where were we? Yeah, <laughs> stumbling into the alleyway. All right. So yeah. So you go. Drunk. You stumble into the alleyway, and the alleyway is this alleyway is like dead, deathly quiet. Like there's nothing here. This alleyway just seems like a barren, dead alleyway. Like I said, there are three doorways along the place that you could stop to check out. Uh, kind of hard to see. For oh no, you're half off. So you've basically got you've got dark, uh, vision, dark yeah. vision. Yeah. So these. As you go down the alleyway, the first couple of doors you pass, uh, fairly boring. In fact, all three doors are, are pretty boring. At the end of the alley, close to the end of the alley, you see there there is actually one, uh, one candle stand that is still left alive, that illuminates things a little bit. And you do notice that in the the last doorway on the right side of of these of these walls of these buildings, there is a another building i guess that kind of sits out on the street and the street is like kind of a raised street there are narrow narrow alleyways along the side of this building and the doorway of this building near the end of the or at the end of the alley actually has above the doorway the flying snake emblem that you guys have seen 
It's sort right. of, it looks like it looks like it's actually branded into the the wood of the doorway. It's not big, but blah blah blah. You guys kind of know what you're looking for at this point, and um, so you can see this what looks like a two story warehouse at the end of the alley. Everything is silent though, except for you trying to find your coin purse. He's he's, he's kind of like humming to himself a stupid sh sea shanty as he's bumbling around. He switched the eye patch to the other eye, trying to make it see so he can see better in the oh, dark. Yeah, you get the dark? Mm. <laughs> Look at that. But. So half of so <laughs> one of your eyes have dark vision? Is that how that works? Is that like the... I don't know. <laughs> he's he's trying what he's heard of in plays and things. Don't mind me. Uh... If he sees the, the the snake symbol, he's actually gonna pretend he's found something. I think I got it. And he's Fine, gonna geez. walk back. All right, you're back. And he uh, kind of lowly says, uh, the, the house at the end has a plaque or a symbol of the, the flying snakes on it. Well, that's clearly where they took them then. It seems pretty obvious. Are we Painfully. wanting to storm? Should we not? They're hideout right now. Or... Let, let's uh, let's see if we can figure out what's going on before we just kick in the door. Um. Uh, so no, nobody's come out. No, nobody's come out of the there, right? Like it's this are there place is dead. Quite th there's um, uh, there are no windows. This is just like an alleyway. That's like the the back sides and sides of houses, back sides of whatever. The couple of doors seem like store not storefronts. Uh fronts of perhaps warehouse entrances stuff like that this is just a this alley is dead there's it's quiet if there's anything here it's nothing that you can hear or see okay so jake will hand off the the lantern just because he doesn't want to out it just yet it's dark out i don't like the dark um but he'll head down the alley towards the door that zavrosky pointed out and we'll try to give like a listen at the door and see Maybe even check if it's locked. Let's listen and then check if it's locked in okay. that order. Go ahead and roll me your uh, perception. Perception. That's a nine on perception. There's nothing in here. Uh, so you can't hear anything through nothing. the door? It's, uh, okay. it's, I mean, again, every, every indicator you have, it's just this is a dead, you know, it's like if it were maybe during working hours maybe somebody would be around but this is clearly everything's just been locked up for the night everyone's gone home the alley is dead this is just a candle burning the door so that you touch can is, confirm door is locked the door is locked i know this can for I a pick fact the lock? door is locked you can you can pick a lock i do have these tools and i can pick locks do it i'm a rogue um <laughs> Jake will kind of make like some hand gestures and whatnot and hope that they can figure out what he's pointing at the lock and kind of making a gesture that he's going to pick it. Just doesn't want to shout out, but he's what trying those, to... What do those hand gestures look like? like? Gonna, Is there this, a... <laughs> this, uh, and all that. <laughs> Try and let them know I'm going to pick the lock and then I'm going to go for it. All right. Do you want to go help him for a moment? I don't know what he's doing. I'm, you wanna... yeah, I'm going to go down to where Jake is because... We're about both... to get some shenanigans, and I have this feeling that he's going to need me real fast. All right, Jake, so... roll me your uh, roll me your uh, tools? pick lock. What is that? Thieves S tools. Yeah, the thieves tools. Oh, easy. Yeah. That's an eleven. Yay! I'm rolling awesome tonight. These dice are going to turn pink very soon. Right. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a goddamn expert lock. You need to roll a 35 to unlock it. Well, you need to roll higher than a five, I'm sure. Either way. Here's the thing. If it's just plus locked, six. you know what? You know what uh, helps if you just shattered the door in half. Uh, with a I'm trying. I'm trying to be inconspicuous. Same. If you need a swift kick to the door. We we may get there. We we may get there. But let's 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 try the. Let's try the low key approach first, and then then we can go in with the. The is high like, profiles. I, Anna this is funny. have some things I want to say, but Alona would not be smart enough to say these things that I want to say, so I can't, and it hurts. <laughs> it physically hurts me. <laughs> physically? Listen. Physically? Yeah, physically hurts. I'm in physical pain. 
Um, 11. Okay, easy. Sure, fine. So 11 works. Uh, oh, you, fine. Yeah, this is a pretty basic whatever latch lock that the... You see 10 is. locks? Yes! <laughs> yeah, so easy. This is a easy lock. So you... Yeah, lock is picked. Okay, so I'll kind of again motion. I'll uh, head down I'm standing the alley. right next to you. I don't understand. And I'll, um, Do we want I'll try to look to... out calls? I'm trying to. I'm gonna try and quietly open the door and kind of peek inside through the through the opening, like as quietly as I possibly can. Open this door and peek in, just through the crack, and then a little bit more as I see nothing until I see something. Okay, roll me perception check. You're the best at these. I'm the, best, the best at all of these rolls. Have you not around. seen? Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Look at that. It's not a one, but it's a six in the end. All right. What? So um, you 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 pick the lock, you crack the door open. It's dark in there, probably. It is very dark in there. And you, and you kind of peek it's around and you, you squint your eyes to kind of look around and you, you push the door open a little bit more. And as you do, you hear this ding, 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 as this, there's a, a bell. Like as you open the door, there's a bell leaning against the door. And as you push it open just enough, the bell falls and clangs. Ding, 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 just like one of those- Scatter! One of those entry- <laughs> One of those entry bells into the thing. So, you have made your way down the alley, stumbling, searching for coins, pretending. You find the door, you pick the easy lock, opening the door, looking in. You have alerted the empty room that you are here. I don't know what's going to turn out from this, but I do know that we need to take a quick break. Uh, probably, bio break. Probably nothing. Yes, we're going to do a quick bio. We're going to do that. Uh, what do you guys want to take? Five, ten, anything? Seven. Seven. All right, we're going to take... I like that. It's a nice round number. We're going to <laughs> That's not... <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all right. You're right. Whatever You're right. you say. Five, 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 seven. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back and we'll see uh, the uh, the what's in the dark room with the bell dinging. Like you, you ever walk into a storefront and you open the door and you you, and you open the door and it goes ding 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 like the little. Yeah, ding. yeah no, I, I, that's exactly what I was picturing. That's exactly. And then what, you said the bell fell, and then I was like, oh no, it's not like oh, that at all. No, no, the bell didn't fell. Bell didn't. Oh, okay. Fall, ball didn't. Ball. Ball didn't fell. Ball didn't ball. Uh. Break time. All right. Uh, we will see you guys in exactly. Let me tell you. When I say exactly, I mean very roughly. Seven minutes. Be back. Wait, how do I? Shit, hang on, hang on. Producer, go to break. Go to break. Okay, you got it. We're going to break now. Is Roy on oh. drugs? Roy, what did you do?
Oh, I love that. I love that new logo thing, sting, er. We're back. Thank you for patiently waiting on the Dungeon Master who has the same shirt every week. Every session. Change your shirt, Roy. No, man. This is my lucky shirt. How do you think I'm going to keep rolling all these lucky dice to kill your ass? I mean, to, you know, to challenge Make an her. interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time Roy rolled all those 20s in a row? Damn right I do. Damn right I do. It's every time. You're goddamn right. <laughs> you mean last week? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not my fault you can't roll higher than a five, okay, Hector? Six! <laughs> Six! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Six. Jake's, Jake's been having the same problem today. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting uh, up in the nines. All right, Jake. So you have uh, you have rung the bell. You have opened the door to this. You picked the lock. Open the door to this establishment, whatever this is. And the the bell has ding to let the people inside know they have a customer. Yay! Hello, you, anybody here? You, anybody you, here? I'm just uh, anybody. You freeze, but there's no sound. This place is. Hello, clearly, anybody in there? Clearly abandoned. So nobody responds to my. No one responds. Are you, are, you, are you guys open? I, I heard this was the place to come. For, I, I heard this was the chop shop. It is dark and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's wagon. My wife's wagon. I need to get that thing chopped right away. She's my axe. I'm going to be honest with you. And that's what I'm here to get done. <laughs> uh, I need to get it in and out real quick. Real on, quick. Man. This wagon's got to be broken down, taken apart, and on the streets. Back to market. <laughs> I just I need fair market value for it though. Uh, nothing, nothing. Well, I, I think it's clear. I take their their silence as a yes, and I'm gonna walk inside. Okay, you find yourself in a small, <laughs> surrounded by 37 individuals. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> you, you find yourself in a small, but what seems to be a a, a lobby or. You know, if if you can imagine that in this sort of warehouse office, this small lobby, there are some chairs, there's a table, a couple of doors leading out from these other different walls. Everything is quiet and dark in here. There are two doors leading out of this small room that you're in. And it's just Jake and Alona, or, or have Zavrosky and Cole joined? No, us? I, I was I was approaching when, when you did your third set of hand gestures. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. The the whole the gestures work. Yeah, the that gestures got, yeah. work. Started That's moving in, yeah. <laughs> we're all we're all around the front door there. Okay, so you guys are there. Oh, in fact, Roy, do you have a map that we don't have? Yeah, I'm looking to That's see if I want to. Matt, you got to share your maps with us. You, we're your favorite. I don't you have, have to give us the to. map. I don't have to. Yeah, but Hang we're on. your favorite. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't okay. have to do anything. How else are you going to off <laughs> But I choose to. All right, let me piss off the grognard. My depth is in chat, so like, just give us the maps now to piss them off. They're going to be really pissed off now because they're going to see this and be like, what the? I'm like, hey, <laughs> no, definitely not favorites. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is, uh, this is what are we going to call this? All right. The biggest mistake they made. Here. All right. Let's or the first in a long line of mistakes. That's the name. Hopefully this is. Hopefully this isn't something. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay. Good. All right. So you guys are. You're the best. Round. No one's ever gonna keep you there. I love that you guys know that. You're so my favorites. I mean, if I had favorites, you'd be. You have favorites. I do have favorites. You're right. And your favorite of your favorites is me. No comment. You might it's be right. It's true. true. If anybody comes in, I'm hiding in that bush. <laughs> All right, he's in the bush. Right behind it, just he's in I the agree. bush. I agree. I could hide in the bush more than you could. He's that in five the bush. bush. I'm jumping in it. Jake Dean, you are in on, there, followed by Huge. Alona. <laughs> Followed by Cole, followed by the great, not the mediocre, but the great Zavrosky. All right. <laughs> so this is basically where you are. So this is the the street you guys are in. This these 
plank looking things. This is the uh, remember this this alleyway is like a raised Waterdeep is built in a you know it's a mountainous thing. So so elevation changes very quickly from house to house even and road to road. So the place that you guys are on is is elevated and this on the sides of this place it, it slopes quickly down on the sides of the thing. Sweet. Plug it upside down. So this is where you are. There, there are the two doors that you guys can see in this small room that you're in. I mean, let's go to the let's let's get out of this tiny claustrophobic as fuck room. Well, I, I, that's why I was waiting to see what you guys want to do. Like, can, this th it's the only place that's marked the snake in the door. We know snake guys took them. We know it's sense. Um, I say we go deeper, but uh, I always say go deeper. So. That's what she said, too. So Rosie's going to get in. Is that a, a coat hanger there? I got a coat hanger. Sure. Yeah. This is, like I said, this is a foyer, right? Is, a, is there any coats hung up with the symbol of a snake on it? There are no Ooh. coats hung up with the symbol of a snake <laughs> on it. But nice idea, though. Try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to have a disguise kit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I probably don't have an emblem of, of the Zents on me. On the back of the neck. Just just draw one. Just a fake tattoo. Yeah, from, from what you guys have oh, seen so far... Should have put Yager head. From what you guys have seen yeah, so far, exactly. the uh, big identifiers are sort of these um, these tattoos. They, they go for tattoos. Like, they... As you guys kind of know, right, the... In the Xanathars, they like to push people to get these tattoos because tattoos are permanent. And when you tattoo someone into a guild, it's a yeah, it's a permanent type of thing. So, does anyone mention tattoo? Well, we I guess because we're talking, we're, we're discussing what we're gonna do to sneak in here. This disguise right. kit was brought up, and now we're like, well, the only disguise we really need would be like a tattoo that marks us as one of the. But I can use press digitation. I think. Three effects at once. <laughs> Next question, though. Would, would any of them recognize or know the two of us in the group who are in a different gang? Three of us, technically. Yeah, everyone but me. So, like... <laughs> well, I'm not in another, another gang. That's true. So, like, would they recognize the two of you who are in a gang? Would they recognize you as the enemy? So this I is can one of put the things... marks of the the snakes using prestidigitation. I can put a mark on an object or a surface for an hour. Yeah. And I can have three of them up at a time. Yeah, this but if you put the things... mark on those two and they recognize them as the opposite gang. We'll talk our way out of that when it comes, Alona. I don't think Jesus. you can. When did you start coming up with plans, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. When I went away for six years, oh. damn it! Gone away from you for six. Where did this logic come from? I don't understand this logic. Who are you? Listen, oh, I was no, away you... for you for six fucking years talking with some monks. Maybe I learned to use my voice and not just go along with what you say. Who, who shouldn't? Who shouldn't get the mark? What's God. that? What's that Kermit <laughs> meme? Where well, that's none of my business. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, if the mark is on two people from an opposite gang, there's going to be a tussle. Do you expect every every lowlife thug to know the name and look of every other lowlife thug? Look at his fucking face, and I point to Jake. Well, maybe I am not dashing. I am not dashing. Do you, I, I do you want a hat? <laughs> I got another one in my pack. You can can hide some things. Can you like? Maybe I'll give you the, the hat in the... Oh, the eye big, patch, one. the hat and the eye patch. That's perfect. Here I'm down, go. hat and eye patched. So who doesn't get the mark? Um, don't give it. Don't give it to Jake. Jake won't take it. He's like, I got the hat and the patch, so I'm good now. All right. He's gonna, he's gonna go back outside to see the symbol, so he can trace a mark on the, the three of us as a tattoo. Hell yeah. All right. To make it look like we're part of the gang. And you got it. For an hour. Total 305. Where would each of you like to have your your tattoo? One in the exact same place Yagra has hers. 
Okay. And it's one of those things, you know, the, the, the gang tattoos, like that's a thing of like personal stuff, right? Like some people want to be really, really proud of being in this gang thing, right? Like Mike Tyson proud. You know what I'm saying? If they ask, uh, mine's on my ass cheek, guys. Right. Some people, not so much, right? Some people Low might key. want to keep it in Low a place key. where you could, you could show it if you wanted to, but it's not broadcasting to the world. So entirely up to you. So, uh, Fox, where your tattoo is on your... No, I'm not, I'm not getting one, but no if tattoo. anybody asks, it's on my ass. You got it. All right. Uh, Hector, uh, Cole Voidfang, tattoo or no tattoo? Right behind the ear. Behind the ear. You got it. Elona, tattoo? Uh, um, fuck it. We'll make it big, loud, and proud. I'm going straight on the bicep. Out Boom. there. Ooh, that's a, that's a big-ass freaking tattoo, right? Right, fucking yeah. zen. The entirety of the bicep, so it's huge. Sun's out, tattoos yeah. out. That's what they say, I hear. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, Zavrovsky, where's uh, where's your tattoo? He's going to do it uh, on his side. All right, so shirt. hidden under the shirt. Okay. Yeah. So only sort of two, one very visible, one perhaps visible, and two hidden. Hidden. One hidden, one hidden. Very okay. hidden. Yeah. <laughs> Very hidden. Listen, it's on my inner ass cheek on the right. I only show certain people. Only those who have to know. You gotta spread them. You got you gotta you gotta wanna see my butthole if you wanna see the tattoo. That's what's up. Well, what am I did what am I? I done? think that might be the quote of the day. Yeah, all right. That's great. That's great. Oh, the highlights uh, from this one are gonna be great. All right. Uh <laughs> So you guys, all right. So you guys, you're in this room. You've got tattoos. <laughs> you've got <laughs> what is what is the meaning of this? What are your uh, what are your, what are your plans? What are your plans? Do we have over. A, do we have a story of why we're here? We're, also, we're again, in from a mission in Baldur's Gate. Let me emphasize that the place is like you guys have walked into a closed warehouse. Like, imagine you have a warehouse. Days over, you lock the door, they leave. That's what this place feels like. It's it's dead. There's no noise, there's no light, it's just Okay, nothing. okay, okay. We're Zens from Daggerford. We're new in town and we're looking for some action. That was a Sounds good. All right. Choose a door. Any door. The action. If Alona says that out loud, we'll be like, don't worry. We'll do the talking. <laughs> All right, which door? Left? Wait, what the fuck? Shit. Uh, compass directions. Oh. West or south? Blah, blah. West? West. My west or your west? Go west. west. Life is peaceful there. West. All right, west opens into a, another room. This is a bum, sort bum, of a clear bum. conference room. This is a... You, you, you feel like you're in this sort of office. Like, so you're, you're kind of in the, the foyer of an office space. This is a conference room of an office space. There's a couple of the doors that lead into what could only be other office spaces. And you open those doors and peek in, and they are indeed office spaces. Not much in this entire area. A, a quick look around shows it, you know, mostly, uh, again, deserted. Uh, peeking through stuff in here. You guys do find a... Single item of interest. Ooh, because I was going to ask to search through the papers on the desk and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do. I'm, 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 I'm sort of. Uh, as you can tell. Assuming? Are you assuming? Nope, I am I'll assuming my actions. I'm sir. zooming. No, this I'm. Along, we get past the grognard, so it's fine. Just let him. <laughs> I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. Uh, oh, was that the door that they spent forty five minutes on? Yeah. Oh, no what? comment. How do you spend 45 minutes on that fucking door? <laughs> like a four. Oh, Chris is upset. Chris is going to be upset. So upset. <laughs> if... that fucking door with a four. How do you just spend 45 minutes to open that hey, fucking Hey, hey. It was a six, all right? Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I could have blown right, out that door and it probably would have got knocked down, okay? <laughs> Actually, you know what? It was a five. But you have a plus six. But I have a plus six. Because yeah. I'm All right. In the... Party inventory, I have placed the single treasure you guys have found. This is something you guys would be roughly familiar with, uh, especially any of you who hobnob with those who must have. In, in fact, uh, 
fat. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> Jake Dean Melshimber, you, you've certainly used these in your time. It's a, a paper bird. And it's an interesting thing. It's basically a, a very, very f fine piece of parchment folded into a square. And what you do is you, you unfold it, you write a message on it, and you tell the bird the, you, you speak the command word and the recipient, and this thing folds itself into a paper bird and flies to the recipient. So it's a, it's a very cool way, expensive way, to deliver messages to someone. How fast does it move? It moves at the speed, I think it's in the thing, right? It is... Speed of light. Oh, there's more. I see. There we go. 60 feet a second. Yeah. Oh, look. Check this out. There's a... There's an image. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. so pretty. I, was, I tried to open the image. It's like you don't have this module. There you go. Open. Sorry. So that's a, an image that's given it. But yeah, basically... So can we see the writing on it then? Th no, it's blank. So this is, an, this is a folded, unused paper bird. That's right. Oh, it's unused. So right. they were like sending messages with this. So you could, it's something you could use to send a message. But you'd have to know the command word. So the, the basic, whatever, the mechanics of this is that if you identify this wondrous item, it'll give you the command word. And once you have the command word, you can then use this to send a message to anyone. Can they respond? They cannot respond. It's a one-way message. Yeah, it turns into non-magical. you, and then you know it did flu. Can tell us where he was. That's right. Yeah, this is like the. You know, this is the great way that people with lots of money like to send messages to other people with lots of money. You know, it's it's a fairly reliable system. It's very fast. You know, if you want to send somebody a message and get it there within minutes, which in this day and age is a, is a pretty big thing, this is a, this is a great way to do it. And item-wise, you know, there are spells, of course, that can do things even faster, but. Just a neat thing. Not everyone can spell. Not spells. everyone can spell. I can't do that. I'm actually so, bad too. Did we find just the one bird or did we find like a box of the parchment? No, no. This is like actually folded up sitting on the desk. Like as if someone were keeping it handy had, to use at some point. Hadn't sent it yet? Kind of thing? No, no, no. No, this is like I said. This is like one of the desks has just sitting on it. So like as if someone keeps like 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 you would keep a stack of post-it notes. This thing sits right. on the desk. Whereas if somebody wanted to send a message, they could take it. Open it, write the message, send it. Is, so, is there a, a post-it note on a computer screen that says password is there is blank, not, blank, and blank? There is, there is not. So the, the other... Like I said, mechanically, this is basically... Uh, you'll need to get this identified to get the command word. Once you do, you can use it if you want to. You also could sell it. Yeah, worth a bit of coin. Yeah, a bit of coin. Hmm? Like 100 dragons. Mm, but there's nothing, no, nothing else in there, like through the paper. We oh, don't no. see any note of no. That's the most interesting thing Rainier. you find in this set of Men offices. Mentions here. of the of the Blackmar or or. Uh, nope. This is, from Amber. all intents and purposes, a boring nothing. In fact, it's, there, there's nothing. There is <clears throat> everything in here seems vastly out of date. Any paperwork, any uh, thing you find is is dreadfully Monday. out of date, as if no one's been in this place in. Oh. I start turning like okay. candlesticks. Yeah, but no, no, unused. Like you, <laughs> you get a look at through the paperwork in here. You get a sense that this place is has been unused for a long. T no one uses this on any kind of regularity. This is a locked door that maybe once was used, clearly once was used, but is currently not being used by anyone. To the next area. Forward. South. All right, the next area. Opens up. Let's see. Do do do. I'm just gonna save us a little bit of time. Do we? Do we do? Exchanging glances. <laughs> All right, so you guys find yourselves, and, and, and please feel free to move yourselves wherever you want to be. Who's going first? Well, if nobody's going to volunteer. Yes. All right, so you guys find yourselves on the upper floor of a big open warehouse area. There are 
some stairs leading down over to the left. There's a crane here near you. And this is basically a banister that opens up into a, <clears throat> a lower area down below you. Up here, many varied uh, crates. Uh, again, everything in here looks, there, there, there's cobwebs. This place looks like no one's been in here in a, a really long time. Is there any signs of a spot where people would have been dragged through? Dirt disturbed? Oh, good call. Good, good call. call, yeah. Go and Heels roll. and dust. Yeah, roll me your uh, tracking. What's that? Survival? Search, yeah. Or if you just want to do a um, perception check, that's fine. Is that for anyone or just Zavrosi? Uh, Zavrosi, yeah. He, he's looking. So Zavrosi. He'll say it out loud. Do any of you see we'd any? We'd be helping. We'd be helping. Give him advantage. Give him advantage. All right, sure, Try. sure. Fine, I don't care. He's getting help. We're all looking. We're all looking. So there we go. Zavrosky rolls like a pro. I just want to point that yeah. out. Yeah, no kidding, man. Um, okay, winner. <laughs> I feel like Cole's been avoiding dice rolls. Green's a good color. Uh, yes, actually, this place is rather, rather dusty, rather undisturbed, and there is. Yes, so there is a, a, a space over in... Hold on, let me get it. <laughs> over yonder direction. Over yonder. In this open area over... Ah, man. So one thing Fantasy Grounds doesn't have is a way to ping maps, which which I hope that they fix soon. You can drop pointers with both yeah. mouse buttons. I'm just going to move you over here. So over here, there's actually a... Um, there's a, a chair, an area set up here where there's actually a scuffle. So apparently... There, it does look like there were groups of people that have been coming in from the doorway into this area here, and there is, in fact, blood sort of splattered around on the floor here, and it looks like there's been a bit of traffic recently from the doorway into this area and then down the stairs into the lower area as well. You have something over there, Zavrowski? Yeah, Jake, shine your light here. It seems that there's been people here. Some blood. Jake pulls out his hood lantern. Yep, yep, you all see it. I think it looks like they went downstairs <clears throat> after. Maybe we check here first to see if they left anything behind, but... I'll start downstairs, looking around. got it. I'm going to head downstairs. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll start looking around, see if uh, anything fell out of a pocket during um, said scuffle. Well, right now, it's looking like we have some bad news for Volo. Just going to say that right now. I'm putting it out there. Hmm. I'm going to put the negativity out there, and it's up to you guys to bring the positivity back. Maybe the Renair boy is the one that was stepped. There you go. That's thinking positive. Yeah. So we, we do want him to be able to talk to us later anyway, so... I, Right, right, right. The dragons. That's the yeah. eye on the prize. Eye on the prize. Zavrovsky's always thinking. All right. So you guys, uh, dude, you guys heading downstairs? I, I was gonna, I was gonna search around up here, see if I found anything from the scuffle. Yeah, Let's... I think Zavrovsky and Cole are up here, and it looks like Jake and Nolan are heading downstairs. Jake's watching the front. Nolan go downstairs more than he's heading down himself. Oh, fair. Yes, the yes. So you do actually find um, on one of the one of the tables here. There is you find what is what appears to be a broken locket. There is um, it's like this this ivory locket, and it's been broken in half, uh, and. It remain. It's it's sitting on this table, one of these tables that you see here, mostly crates and stuff that that are sort of around. Yeah, I'll I'll grab it and look at it, see if I recognize the picture. No, it's not. It looks like it's sort of a locket that was you know designed to probably hold something. There's a, there's a, a clear hollow space inside of this, and you you surmise mm. it's been broken open, and trying to get what was inside. If there was anything inside, it's been taken. Certainly, the, the 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 locket is hollow and broken, so anything that was inside is no longer there. I'll just grab it and put it in my pocket. Okay, you got it. 
and then, and then I I'll, think we'll uh, follow the head, people head downstairs. downstairs. Yeah. Like, did Cole point that out, or is he just kind of like pocketing it after he finds it? I mean, like I, I found this, but it doesn't look like there's anything inside. Uh, it, it looks like it was pried open to to get at whatever could have been in this little space right here. Possibly follows or follows flumes, flumes. That's what I meant. That's why I'm taking it. Maybe it is his. Anything down there, Alona? Yes. Yeah, so the downstairs is another big. Actually, let's move over. Uh oh, where's my other map? Is that a crane? Is it like a crane device? It yeah, is a crane, crane, yeah. So this is a downstairs. Let's this, see. The loading dock? Are we that close to the like the port where there'd be a loading dock? No, no, this is a hold on. Oh, it's a warehouse. Down. Never mind. Just a warehouse, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a multi-level warehouse. So the, the bottom level is this big open storage area. The upper level is let's see. I'm, I'm gonna if you guys shift over a little bit. Ooh. Is this the down? Oh, this is the rest of the downstairs. Yep. That's right. So the, the left side is the downstairs. So let me move um, Alona over going downstairs. Whew. All right. Oh, look how it matches up. Crazy. So good. <laughs> Actually, let's just this is this be easier, right? If I just like open this whole thing, blah 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 blah. Loading bay door. Yep. And this downstairs area, uh, there's a window that you can see that looks like it opens out into some some yard area down there, Alona. And so the bottom area is this big space, a storage space. So the uh, it's, it's obviously a warehouse that's designed to have the there's a giant loading bay door downstairs so it looks like probably shipments would come in from the downstairs upstairs things can be can be hauled up and brought up to the upstairs place probably you could do things like showing potential clients samples of goods upstairs and and such like that so the this is designed where the <clears throat> the top level where you guys were could be sort of a not a storefront but a a meeting room of sorts or whatever but but again this whole place seems to clearly uh, indicate that no one's been here in quite a very long time. Oh, I should give credit. Hang on, let me open this up because I want to show this. Uh, this map is brought to you by Laos. Thank you, Laos, whoever you may be out in internet land for creating this fantastic map system for us. Go, Leos. Leos. Maybe Leos. All right, so Alona downstairs. What's the plan? You look around. There's nothing here. Uh, oh, I do need you to roll me perception. Mm. <laughs> there might be something. Mm. Boop, boop! I said. It's scary when perception is rolled behind the screen and you don't know what it says. Nine. Did you guys hear me? I hear yes. you. You're pretty quiet, but yeah. Yeah, I know. This my mic is not picking up as much as it usually does. Okay. Nine. Her passive is actually twelve. If that makes a difference. Twelve with your rules. Okay. Over to your. Um, over to your right, as you're coming down the stairs, you, your dark vision catches a small glimpse of movement, as if some thing, some brief glimpse of maybe some humanoid type thing is sort of hiding in the corner behind these these boxes. Well, I'm gonna go make myself, a, uh, you know, make myself known to whoever that is. And how how does that look? Uh. <laughs> There. Hey there, what you doing over there? Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna go kind of walk over and then just kind of look down over the boxes, see who it is. Um, all right, so you walk over to here and you see, in fact, as you're, as you're walking over there, this uh, you see this sort of this sort of creature, it's cloaked, and and you hear this, this scribbling. 
and it screeches at you and comes what? to attack you. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to make friends and you go and attack me. What the fuck? Yes, in fact, it attacks, and as it does, you see movement from around as oh, this good. this ambush jumps upon you. You're not going to be surprised because you spotted this one. Um, oh, let's just let's just let's just show the picture because pictures are just so fun. Pictures. Picture You're already in trouble. Kinku. Kinku. All right, a group of these things jump out of the shadows and attack. Uh, let's see. Can't go. Here's one. Here's one. And there's one. Oh, well, fuck it. They're all numbered, so we just blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's roll initiative. Everyone roll initiative. So the rest of the party is going to be surprised for this round because they're not down here. Elona, you will not be surprised. And these guys are, are clearly aggressive and... Launching the attack, Elona, just so you know. Oof. Zavrowski, no. Had to roll poorly eventually. Zavrowski, no. Where is main tab. main tab center? In it. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah. So Elona, looks like you've got the the jump on these guys. So they are indeed they, they seem to be certainly hostile. Uh, but they have only inspired your wrath as you have the jump on them. Your reflexes are far superior to these pathetic birds. Hey, uh, Jake, we got some feckin' friends down here. And, uh, Whoa, geez. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way over to this fucker who jumped out at me. All right. We're gonna pop out. Uh-oh. All right, do it up. Jake, you can actually sense this sort of old joy radiating up from above you. This this joy of combat. Yes, <laughs> I am involved. In. That is a hit. Oh, I figured out what I was jacking up with the hit points last week. I have I added a, a mod to my fantasy grounds that gives me. Uh, there's, there's hit points max and then there's wounds. And so I have a mod that gives me the actual hit point totals. Ooh. And so I was, I was putting things in wrong columns, which if you do that changes their hit points, not their wounds. And so I was completely jacking up the, uh, the hit points for some guys last week. So yeah, cool. Pop. Gotcha. All right. Elona. Uh, yeah. Smack so you, him again. <laughs> smack this guy. Again. In the beak. Get him. Oof. Oh no. Roy. No. Roy, the sound effect. I think it's perfect. I think I think it's I think it's appropriate. If you roll a one, you should get a sad trombone. You should get a oh sad trombone. Oh my god. didn't get a sad trombone on his fucking one on initiative. It's because it's not an automatic something. <laughs> Just saying. Uh. Oh, by the way, uh, for you guys watching at home, which I appreciate a lot, don't forget, if you want to buy the character's inspiration, we can. 200 bits will get you inspiration for a character or for the DM, which is completely legit. And uh, before very long, we're also going to nerd out. And we are working on, we're at 200 out of the 1,000 bits we need to get Anna to participate in nerd out. And I know she wants to. I can tell that look on that pretty face says, I want to nerd out. So let's do what we can. Let's get Anna involved in, in the nerd out. Roy, can you reshare the map? I had to restart Fantasy Grounds. Son of a. I know. Such a pain. Thank there you. you go, baby. All right, Anna. Oh, now I know what's going on. Uh Oh, well, oh, yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's say that Anna is attacked. Let me move it to me. Blah, blah. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, you're not. Oh man, you're not surprised. Okay, fine. Fine. All right, Anna, uh, take a short sword from the guy trying to kill you. Uh oh, that did not do what I wanted it to do. Oops. 
Wow, you're actually missed. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> guy behind the crates over here pulls out his bow, and he's going to... Fucking try. He's going to try hard, in fact, to kill you with his bow. Cannot do it. Uh, another another one of these bird guys appears from around the stairs. He also pulls out a bow and starts yeah, Jake, hurry up. shooting arrows at you. Ooh, that one's going to find purchase. All right, Elona. <laughs> and bye, Elona. <laughs> Wait, you but were wounded already? I was she already didn't want a short rest I last time. Hang on. That's true. That's Wait, true. but, but. but. Was endurance, so I'm going to pop my ass back up. You have your, yeah, all right. So you are at uh, wounds of point. eight, one hit point. You are still up, Elona. I'm pop my ass back up as soon as I fall. All right. So this, this, you in fact, you don't even. begin with. Yeah, you didn't even fall. This actually, the arrow actually hits you, and it would have felled a lesser person. But you were like, I will not. Yield! Fuck your arrow! You bite the tip off the throw the arrow on the ground. Wait, can I bite the tip off the arrow? Because that's just cool. Yeah, you can. Sure, totally. Yeah, you can have it in your you can have it in your in your mouth if you want to. Like have this Fuck arrow. Yeah. Fucking right. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I have one more Kenku who is firing arrows at you, and oh, no, I don't like that. I'm okay, gonna hope he misses. He should have. He should have like. She should have covered the box. Wow. You know, you probably should. It doesn't matter, but you're right. You should. It doesn't matter now. Yep. All right. So uh, three of these guys miss you. One hits you. Would have been a killing blow, except Orcish Fortitude. Excellent. Cool. Okay. This, is gonna, this will take us to the top of the next round. All right. So you guys here below you, uh, Jake, you're pretty familiar with this. You have heard Ilona in combat a million times, and she is... is in her in her savagery, in her element, in fact. The joy permeates, bubbles up through the floorboards of the second story as uh, Elona happily engages her badly outnumbered ass down there. I'm fine. So, I don't want it, boy. so you're saying you're okay then? Perfect. You're fine. Don't worry about it, Jake. I'm just getting fucking shot by four goddamn cancoos. She says she's fine, guys. Guys, she said she's fine. Should I go um, get drinks? So can Jake uh, rush down these stairs? <clears throat> Kenku at the bottom of the stairs. He was can shooting. He, can with he a bow. hop over him? <laughs> so like he ends up landing here on the other side of him. He comes down the stairs and kind of jumps off the rail yeah, over the five, rail of the stairs. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I mean, it's like it's, it's within his forty feet of movement. Sure. Yeah, I think so. All okay. right. Yeah. And then he'll uh, have the two daggers drawn. It, it's eyes. <laughs> it looks around. <laughs> And we're gonna try. We're gonna try and hurt this guy. Uh oh. Um, I'm not gonna have any sneak attacks, so that kind of sucks. But oh well. Um, first attack with the main hand is gonna miss. Pink. Time to change the color of the dice. Wait, wait, not yet, not yet. One miss it's, it's, is okay. It's, one miss, and then and then we'll take another swing with the offhand dagger. There you go. There now you go. Twenty three. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And then damage, is, I assume uh, that hits, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you better hope that hits. So it's, just, it's just a one damage, though. Bink. Because there's no bonus. All right. Uh, take one. All right. Slash but you him with a dagger. Clearly caught its attention as it wildly looks around. Um, I got this one. Okay. Uh, anything else, Jake? Uh, no, that'll end Jake's turn. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything with my bonus action right now. Okay, Alona, you are... Wait, you want to take uh, unconscious was... off her? Yeah, hold on. Because it auto-did it for... Just noticed. Yep, all right, Alona, you are up. Made me bleed my own blood. Bitch. Shit's going down. Made me bleed my own goddamn blood. To wait. Oh, that misses... Oh no, that misses. That's okay, I'll take another hit. Barely. I'll take another strike. Fuck. You guys are gonna have to roll something higher than single digit fucking rolls every time. <laughs> hey, hey, I got 19. I got 19. <laughs> Jake. All right, Jake. Follow Jake. <laughs> Be like Jake. Be like Jake. I hit him the first time. I punched this Kanku straight in his fucking beak the first time. You did. Points are made. Yep. <sighs> All right, Alona. Is that anything else, Alona? 
Cole. Uh oh. What? Redemption what? time, Cole. Come on now. What? What? He's gonna he's gonna start going down the steps and just like trip. All <laughs> <the time. laughs> he can roll down. Pops up on screen at the bottom. Da, 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 da. All right. So half <laughs> get up. I meant to do that. Half your movement, Cole, will basically bring you sort of halfway down the stairway, and you see this unfolding below you. Yeah, there are four of these these bird men, bird creatures around. Two engaged in melee with your teammates. Two have bows out there. They're shooting at Elona, as far as you can tell. Okay. From up on the stairs, right. you've got pretty much open shots on anyone you want. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to finish my last bit of movement down here. Would that put me in melee with this guy, with Jake? Sure, yeah. You can melee him from the stairs if you want, but yeah, you can, sure. Uh, then I'm going to cast Booming Blade on my on my sword. <laughs> and swing. Go for a swing. Come on, uh, redemption. Uh, and it's he's going to whisper to the blade as he swipes his hand across it. As the ravens fly. And you see this, this black shimmer across the blade as it responds to your words and your touch. Come on, actions tab. Open. Coin. <laughs> 14. That is a hit. Yes. Yes. Hey! Look at Cole. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so it's Boom, that's gonna seven. 13 plus damage. Hell yeah. Another D8. Wait, what? Uh, the D8, the other D8 if he moves. It, on the first, on, on it, as a before it evolves, doesn't it just do the the damage automatically? I thought it was after it evolves it does the damage automatically. And oh, okay, okay, well, but it, I, I could reread, but yeah, I'm gonna look up the spell. Bad. Holy, let me see. Let's see. Well, then it, it'll be a six for whenever he moves. If he's not dead. It becomes sheathed yeah. in booming energy until the start of your next turn. If the target will only moves before then, immediately takes the eight. Thunder damage. Oh, that's badass. Well, yeah. it actually doesn't matter because as you actually hit it, your initial attack actually just chops it in half. Cole, and, you did something. Oh, yeah. It falls. It is dead. In fact, the one point from <laughs> you guys exactly. Yeah. So you, you actually Boom. killed it. It Helping. is at zero health, uh, lying on the ground, bleeding out. Blech. Uh, Good thing I cut that major artery for you so you could get that. <laughs> it was beautiful. You had him distracted so perfectly. Okay, one down. Uh, anything else, Cole? Um, can he move right here and try to get at least a little bit of coverage from the boxes? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I'll give you. Um, I'll give you partial cover from from those guys. Sure, no problem. Week, okay. And that'll be his turn. All right. So let's see. Kenku one is engaged in this in this death Where struggle. <laughs> All right, Alona. Here, this might miss. Here we go. Oh, uh, sorry, Alona. All right. So he uh, he short sword <laughs> drives it up into the rib cage. <laughs> Die back. Oh, actually, he has it. Yeah, he's, he's actually, he has no words. He's cost. Ah! Ah! Uh, Alona, you are like down. Gonna What's that? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Percent. Yep. <laughs> Constantine as he's. All right. Uh, number two. They, they actually, ah! and they <clears throat> see the damage inflicted upon their brethren by Cole. And this guy starts firing at Cole. Uh, same thing, doesn't matter. Okay. Whew. Misses with an arrow. Actually, that should be a minus two. All right. The other one is going to do the same thing at Cole. Give you a minus two for cover. Oh! But a natural 20 is still going to hit. Sorry, Cole. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> TPK. 
Gantz can't coo. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Yes! He's still alive. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, this dude. TPK is the name of my mixtape. So T, Cole hides behind the stairs, and this one arrow glasses off the stairs. But as he turns around, this other guy has got him straight beaded on. <laughs> Fires this arrow, hits him straight in the chest. Ah! But is not oh, enough. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. Yep, that hurts. Not enough oh, to take him yes. down. Zavrosky, you're on damage control. The great Zavrosky. There is shit he, happening. He jumps below over you. the banister. All right. And and then he goes down once, jumps over this banister to land on these boxes. All right, yeah, yeah, awesome. And goes to stab. <laughs> Can't this is yes. very boom. This is yes. very heroic, man. This dude's like f jumping, flipping, dancing. He's very, very flamboyant. Very uh, man. He wants to do this with some players. He, he's <laughs> trying this, to. This is very flexy, and I am here for it. <laughs> and he. <laughs> He, caught, he catches his blade as he's flipping over the banister, and he doesn't quite get the stab in. You look really but good. You, you look you really look good. You look really cool doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You look yeah. really good doing all this. But as you come out, you try to pull your sword out. And you, you actually do manage to pull your sword out, but the tip of the rapier gets stuck in the sheath. And you, you try to stab this guy. You end up just boing. The rapier is, is vibrating its, itself as you're... At least it didn't hit Cole. Ah, jeez. And then, as a bonus action, he'll shout to Jake. Jake, show us what real heroes do. <laughs> to give him some bardic inspiration. Whoa, all oh, right, okay. all right. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Feeling. That's an extra D6 or D4 right D6 now? D6 right now. D6. D6. All right, Jake, that is actually is your turn, man. Let's see what this bardic inspiration Excellent. looks like. Okay, let's see if uh, we can clean up this guy over here. So he's not shooting any more arrows. I'm, that's I'm like standing next feet. to a guy if you want to cheap shot him. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, but can I get? Are they, can I go under these stairs? Or are they solid? They're, they're solid going down. But you could go like five, ten. I know I can go around. I got the forty. Fifteen. Yeah, you could kind of go up the stair. Like if you want to kind of like head up the stairs to here and kind of jump down onto these crates. That's certainly doable if you wanted to like. And way cooler than what I was gonna do. So yeah, or, I'm, I'm just saying what's possible. He, he sees what Zavrosky does. Like I could do that too. I, I could do it. Hello. Watch. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll try and bury the daggers into Kenku Four here. You got it, see man. If I have better luck. All Jumping right, and over, he's, just uh, driving both in. He's flanked. So you got your uh, rogue advantages. It's a ten. On the you first got a, a D six if you want to use it. Um. Actually, yeah, I will use that extra D six. So I'm gonna add. Come on, D six. Yes! Yeah. Five. So that's going to be a 15. Is, 15 yeah. is a hit. Yes. Okay. Ooh. So then it's going to be. Uh oh. Whoops. Bad news for Kenku 4. This Kenku is attack. in dire trouble. So it's going to be the five plus an additional. Ah, oh, it's only like the one. Uh, Six damage. Still wounded. Yeah. All right. He is wounded and, and bleeding. Then offhand dagger still. Uh oh. Still got that bonus action offhand. Try and take another slice at him. But then I hit a one instead. <laughs> TPK on intro. <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, Alona. Uh oh, Alona, I need a death save from you. Hang on. I was told by my loving boyfriend that he just donated 200 bits and should be giving me inspiration. You got it. There okay. it is. Yeah, there it is. You're still in I love you. <laughs> You're still unconscious, though. I uh, know, but I can. You can but you but can she's inspired. You are inspired. <laughs> In death. So give yourself, uh, give yourself an inspiration. This is true of relationship goals. Here is my boyfriend inspiring me in my fucking fake. I love you guys. I love you guys. So I can't I love you guys me. more. I can't love you guys more. Thank he you. He uh, read me Lord of the Rings the other day. What? While I was, while I was trying to sleep, he read me like three chapters of Lord of the Rings. Now you're just, uh, now you're just showing guy. off. Now you're just good showing guy off. Good guy, Greg, Come on. right here. <clears throat> oh! Oh, were you using? I thought you were going to use the inspiration for your death roll. Well, so in, in, in this matter. game, in Inspiration, I allow you to use Inspiration to re-roll a roll. So instead of declaring it beforehand, you get to oh, just okay. re-roll. Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah. you Can could re-roll re your critical yeah, failure on the death please. save. Jeez. How many? What's Who Who programmed this shit? <laughs> when? when? God. The devil. It was the goddamn devil. 15. Okay. So instead of so, a critical failure on <laughs> your death save. I love you. I have never loved you any more 
than I do right now in this moment. Yes. Turn your biddies, coming through. That's why we do it, folks. That's why we do it. All right. So instead of a critical failure, you have succeeded. You are one out of three successes on a death save to stabilize. <laughs> Jeez. On your on your main tab, you'll want to uncheck those fails at the bottom. Oh okay. my goodness! All right, Cole, come on, baby, what you got? My heart. <laughs> Let's go, Cole. Let's so there go. are two wounded. There are two wounded Kenkus. The Kenku that was fighting uh, Elona, which will have partial cover from you. There's a Kenku four, which just shot the arrow into your chest, which would have no cover. And then there's also Ken. Well, Kenku three is bleeding out, and Kenku two far away would have partial cover from you as well okay um i'm going to come over to where alona's at and clamber over all this stuff try to get on this side of the try to get on this side of the guy uh booming blade again as the ravens fly the familiar black shimmer across the blade as it responds to your touch Thank you. Yes. That's a big hit, baby. <coughs> oh, <Yeah>. Jesus. <laughs> Done. <laughs> he splat another keg of cheese, man. Killing it. Holy shit. Yeah, all right. So this dude is also... Whoops. Dead. Take him off. Take him off. Man, you are a beast, Cole. And oh, then I am oh. going to... Try to duck behind whatever I can. This arrow in my chest is killing me. These things <laughs> so bad. You know, if, if, if in fact that's fine. If you want to, yeah. I mean, there's lots of stuff in here. Sure, you can. We'll say you can actually duck out of sight behind the all these crates around you. You can just completely duck down. Fine. Uh, so, so missile weapons wouldn't be able to target to you this round. Uh, oh boy, jeez. Um, if let's see, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah. All right, I guess this guy will come here and he'll shoot an arrow at the great Zavrosky. Not Zavrosky. To no effect. Uh, this Kinku, oh, he's badly wounded. Um, come at me, bro. <laughs> bro. Come on, bitch. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I ain't even scared, bro. Dad, no. All right, this Kenku actually throws down, he, he looks at the two of you surrounding him. He actually throws down his sword and he says in a, a voice, nothing like him, he says, perhaps we can come to some agreement. You're Very, the ones that attacked us. Like this is this is the most magical. Like like he he opens his voice to go ah, and, and instead he he uses that exact phrase that term. And he throws his he throws his weapon down and and puts his hands up in the air. <laughs> Does his friend also react in any way? Uh, his friend, his friend, his friend will. Ooh, that's a good question. Let's see. Let's 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 leave it to the fates. Uh, his friend. Two of your friends are dead. You better stop. His friend will probably comply. So his friend will probably comply. His friend does not seem to be agreeing with him. Zervoski will have his rapier pointed at the Kenku's face, and then look to his friend and say, "Drop it." You bad Kenku, bad. All right, you'll have to kind of wait till its next turn to to see how it responds. I mean, it could if it has its reaction, but it depends on us. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. It, it doesn't seem to be. It's not as chatty as his buddy, or right. at least maybe not overly concerned about. I mean, he's holding his action, and, and if the Kenku doesn't stop, the other one doesn't stop. He's stabbing the one beside him. Ooh, that's a good, okay, good idea, good idea. Um, Till next round. And. Yeah, let's, let's let that happen. Okay, you got it. Okay, Jake, what are you doing? 
He'll actually, I was going to also use the bonus action to inspire Cole and show these birds how a real raven deals with things. That was sick. All right, Cole, you got a D6 um, at your disposal. Jake. <clears throat> so he'll the, yell to Kung Fu too before he does anything. Your friend's going to die if you don't lay down your weapons. Just give up. You're outnumbered now. And Cole will pop up behind from others, all this stuff. Don't make me come over there. <laughs> I will cut you down like I cut down your friends. How many, how many fingers do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Do you happen to know a man with a glowing eye? Uh, all right, all right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. These, these, these guys are like, okay, okay. Actually, the yeah, they're not. They are like, ah, he, he, he pauses. He seems unsure. And he, he, he shoulders his boat, puts it, puts it away, puts the, puts the arrows away. He's like. And he, he says in the exact same voice the other Kenku said, perhaps we can come to some agreement. Jake, maybe check on your friend, Alona. Uh, does anybody have any healing potions or anything like that? Because she's out cold. But um, cause can you stabilize? I don't have a healing kit. Medical so checks can stabilize. Without a healer's kit, though? Yeah, I oh. believe so. Oh, okay, I thought it's, it, you needed a healer's it kit. It stabilizes. It's not like bring her back. It just makes yeah. sure she No, no, I know, but I thought you needed a healer's kit just to do healer's that. Healer's kit makes it like automatic. So with a healer's kit, you can just use a charge and not have to roll to stabilize. Ah, uh, okay. With okay. without the healer's kit, it'll let's make. Who cares? Let's just say she stabilizes. It's fine. I'm not. Okay, I, say, I, I make sure to stabilize alone for now. Yeah, and in later, this will be a more important thing for now. Fine, we can we can stabilize things. We can. Um, we can capture the kinku. It's it's fine. Now, and so have either of you seen a man named Flume Blagmar? You see them sort of uh, look at each other. And so these are like giant crows, like like man-sized crows, and their eyes are these glassy black pools of darkness. And they they look at each other closely. And one of the one of them looks at you, and it says in this this deep voice with an orcish accent, "Xanathar sends its regards." Xanathar? Did you say Xanathar? Xanathar. Xanathar. Yeah, it so repeats. Xan it, it repeats Wait. itself. Xanathar sends its regards. So these are Xanathar's lackeys. What are you guys doing here? What? 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 Why would Xanathar? Well, obviously Xanathar had you here because uh, I, I don't know. But and as you as you ask it what it's doing here, the the other one they kind of look at each other again, and the other one says it's in this sort of thin nasally voice. Tie up the pretty boy in the back room. Follow the yellow signs and the sewers. And Jake, this triggers a memory for you because you know that the way that Xanathar's like so. There are, are safe rooms. So the Xanathar gang, they have safe rooms sort of scattered around the city. And there are hideouts in the sewers as well. The way that they point the ways to these different hideouts. And these, these hideouts can move, you know, from time to time. Part of the, the way they, they escape being captured by the law and being found out by their rival gangs is to sort of stay mobile and move around. The way that they show the way to the normal, the current hideout in in local area right so if you were to pop down to the sewers into a local area they actually have these yellow marks they make and you can follow these yellow marks to find the nearest xanathar hideout down in the sewer system that's changed pretty regularly because xanathars may change them uh the guild of dung sweepers regularly cleans out the sewers but that's a way that within a few day window you could find the nearest xanathar hangout by following these yellow markers so, but wait, did you say you had a pretty boy tied up in the back room? Uh, the, the, it, he actually repeats the exact same phrase again in the exact same voice. Tie up the pretty boy in the back room. Follow the yellow signs in the sewers. Yo, I think these guys are just repeating like a mockingbird. Ah! How much would, would Zavrosky know about Kenku? Has he read about them? As much as you want to know. 
As much as he wants to know? Yeah. All right. Because they can't actually speak common. They just mimic people, right? That is That's correct. Exactly. He'll say that. They don't know how to speak. They can just mimic others. So then he heard somebody say that somewhere. Correct. Well, I mean... We do, you, have... do you understand me? Not if you agree. And he's looking at Kinku beside him. Kinku the fourth. Was it Xanathar's people that took the fancy ones out of here? They they sort of look at each other. They... And, and one of them says in this sort of scratchy voice, No time to loot the place. Just get him to the boss. Do you work for Xanathar? <laughs> Answer me, Kanku. It, it sounds like you do to me. You can shake your head for. Ah! And he's he's sort of like his hands are kind of itching. He's like wondering if he needs to redraw his weapons to protect himself or not. He's sort of like we're we're ah. no foes of Xanathar at this point. Ah! Hell, I'm part of the Xanathar Guild, if you really want to be strict about it. Hello. Ah! Me too. Let's ah! it. Yeah, we were trying to sneak into this place because we saw the, the, the Zen symbol on the door. Oh, well, he, we thought they, the Zen's were he in actually, here. He actually bows. He's like, Xanathar sends his regards. <laughs> and regards to you, my friend. <laughs> ah! And they, they actually... they, they Clearly seem to relax and, and, and smile a bit. See, this was all a misunderstanding. I'm sorry your friends are dead, but a misunderstanding nonetheless. Look, we all suffered some losses, all right? Ah. So, you think, do you believe they actually got this fancy boy down to the sewers? I think the, the yeah, I think that, and I think that the fancy boy is uh, either Fluna or Rainier. It's one of the two of them. They were both both the, in the in the Stuart Dragon. They were both talking about them being fancy boys. Do we know the hair color of Rainier? Uh, Rainier is a blonde. A blonde. Fluna was a redhead, right? Fluna is a redhead, a f fiery redhead. Oh man, right. we're What's... ginger guys. Was the fancy boy a fire hair or sun hair? Yellow. The you fire hair say yes, not yes for fire hair. Uh, where is my? You guys, actually, as you as you guys are around here talking to these. These bird guys, you hang on. Let me, let me set the scene a little bit better. So you guys are kind of hanging out over here, blah blah. The bird guys are sort of over here. You guys hear a voice from the other side of the stairs, and uh, it says, "the The fancy boy is a blonde, but the attractive one was a redhead." And you look over, and you see this blonde. The instant you look at him, you recognize this guy as a nobleman. He is wearing. Perfect clothing in the cut in all the latest styles, um, and he's sort of peeking out from around the stairs. Hey, who are you? Where'd you come from? Do we recognize who it is? Uh, you know, Jake, Jake, and <clears throat> Jake and Zavrowski probably have heard enough to suspect. Combined with the, the hints you guys have. Uh, this is likely the son of Lord Dagwalt Never Ember. It's Rhaenyra. My lord Rhaenyra, are you all right? Is that you? <sighs> and he actually, as you, as you call him by name, he actually is visibly slight. And he, and he sort of, he, he, he eyes the, the Kenku very, very nervously, but he sort of steps out from behind the stairs. He's like, <sighs> yes, oh, thank the gods. Yes, I am okay. I, well... I believe I'm okay, but I, I worry that Floon is not. Who are you? You have you have you have rescued me. 
I cannot thank you. Bolo sent us. And as he's as he's saying this, you actually hear this crash from upstairs, and down the stairs come charging a retinue of City Watch agents. So glad I'm unconscious for this. And they and uh, so the City Watch agents come down the stairs. They see this, and they they flood the basement. The the City Watch guards flow all around, and down comes an officer, and he's these this guy he. Uh, carries himself clearly as the leader of this contingent and he comes down the stairs and he looks around and he's like what in Sam's name is going and he, he spies you Jake and he's like oh, oh it's you well I should have guessed and hey the- hey I had nothing to do with this I promise you I assume I know who this person is oh hold on yes uh, you, you, you have a history <laughs> I feel like we have a history here. <laughs> hold on okay I mean, now I'm upset that I'm not awake for this where is my no god, god damn, damn I want to be awake for this uh, hang on hang on this is Zavrosky will have dismissed the tattoos as uh, Good all idea. these guards no! all these guards pour Ex- in excellent choice clever as Zavrosky because Lotus has hers on her fucking bike yeah. No more that tattoos. Is, that is smart, man. That is smart. Uh, Wait, what is that? I mean, does he does he actually recognize Jake Staggart. right away? He's yes. got a pirate so hat on and an I do have patch. the pirate hat and the patch. <laughs> I do have the hat and the patch on. That's true. Yeah, but he. This is so. And he and he's and he's walking with a limp and he's going yards a lot. <laughs> Captain Captain Staggett. And he holds his hand like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my hook hand. I this promise is my you. Hook. So, God. Captain Staggett, and you recognize him as soon as he comes down the stairs. You're like, oh shit, Captain like, Staggett. Am I right? He has been the officer of the watch in charge of the dock ward for as long as you guys have been in the dock ward. He is a a, a pretty decent guy. He's an uptight guy. But his job is to uphold the peace in the dock ward, and he's known to be a little heavy-handed, uh, but also very understanding of the seediness that is the dock ward. You guys have had your absolute share, Jake and Alona, have had your share of run-ins with this guy, as a lot of your ventures happen in the dock ward, because that's a place where you can kind of get away with a little bit more, or a lot more, perhaps, than you can in say the castle ward or other parts of the city as such you guys and captain staggett have become acquaintances Acquaintance. over the years <laughs> and, and he has to talk his way out of this he doesn't have his muscle with him and as he as he comes down the stairs you recognize him immediately and you're like oh shit and he looks around and he's like looks he's like oh jake Hold on. Thank you. Uh, he's like, he actually, he looks around. He's like, just, he pauses for a moment. He's like, young Mel Simber, I should have guessed. When I was told there was a group of tryhards scavenging around in this part of town at this time of day, I should have guessed it was you, but I haven't heard of you. You've been off my radar for some time, Jake. Remind me where you've been again. Stegan, I've just been doing my own thing, staying low, staying out of trouble. He crossed And then arms. Rainier over here, look, look, Rainier went missing. I was asked to look Who, for him wait, and his Rainier. friend Floon. And R- Rainier actually steps up and uh, and and Rainier steps forward and Stegan like immediately, like, <gasps> and he, he sort of pauses. He's like, Lord Never Ember. And Rainier uh, steps up. He says, yes, yes, these, these heroes if I you would use a word, name. these heroes have saved me from this place. It is, it is, it is true. In fact, my friend Jack here, what Jake? Yes, Jake. My friend Jake here, yes, certainly, uh, actually saved the day. These guys came here this day and 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 rescued me, Captain. Assured, be assured of that. From these and, Kenku right here. These little bastards were after everybody. And, and these, so, so, so Staggett, <laughs> Captain Staggett, he's kind of looking, he's, uh, Bus yes. under? Have them arrested. <laughs> put these, put these Kenku in arms. We will find out what they know in short order. 
and the the a couple of the guards take them and they manacle them and they they take them up the stairs and i give them a shrug as they go up the stairs and they look at you Sorry. <laughs> Bibles made this day. Hey, Times two. <laughs> um, They're birds. They won't remember this. And uh, and Captain Staggett, he is. He is. Uh, he's like, yes. Well, well, yes. Well, well. And he, he looks at you, Jake. He says, "It's been some time since I've heard of you. Perhaps. Well, perhaps." Perhaps things have changed. And as he says it, he I'm seems to be trying to turn the other cheek stagnant. He seems to be sort of like t- tasting the feel of those words coming out of his mouth as he suggests that you may have changed. And he's, he's, yes, well, if, if you're, if you're protecting Lord Never Ember or the, or the, or the son of Lord Never Ember, well, good, good uh, yes, yes, well, well, good work. Good, good work there, Jake. It is it's all because of you, Stagnant. You're my role model. I look up to you, man. <laughs> he actually, he actually, he folds his arms. His brow furls. He's like, we both know better. Oh, he, he, he communicates that that thought to you through his luck. We both know better than that. <laughs> so, uh, it's all because of you. Don't let them tell you anything different. And uh, he, uh, he says, well. Uh, what what is going on here? And he looks at you, Jake. He's asking you, Jake. Well, I, I told you we were we came here on a hot lead that we were looking for Rainier. He had been taken by some thugs. We uh, kind of found our way here, and we found Rainier. We're still looking for this guy Floon, but uh, we found Rainier, and that's that's pretty good, if you ask me. We're we're, hmm. we're, we're kind of heroes. We're kind of like we're kind of like heroic people. We do heroic things. That's what I'm doing now, Stagnant. I promise you, I'm doing the heroic stuff thing now. <sighs> yes. Well, where where is this Floon? And Renair actually talked to him. He says, Floon. <sighs> and he, he, he paused him when he says, well, I think they thought Floon was me. Stagger says, what? Oh, of course they did. Yeah. Well, you see, I. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's complicated. Me. So Floon and I left the skewered dragon uh, okay that part's a little fuzzy i admit fine um and we were jumped some 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 tharm some, some what do they call themselves the guys with Zentarums. the flying yeah yeah those guys they 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 jumped us fine okay sure they took us here but they wanted to know all about my my, my father i'm like what's going on here but in the middle of that so they took they, they 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 took me up. They took my locket. I don't know why. Gods, I've had that locket for so long, and now I've lost it. <sighs> Jake will kind of shoot a little bit. Cole Cole will uh, walk up, pull the locket out of his pocket, and like, you mean this broken thing? <gasps> yeah. Yes. 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 My I, he actually goes with yes. My, this is yes. My mother gave me this ages ago. I've had it as long as I can remember. This is well, it is. It is broken. Whatever was inside of it is gone. Inside of it? Yes, you see the little cavity. And he, he sort of looks at it, and, and he he's, seems to be genuinely puzzled. He's like, in, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I see what you're saying, but I didn't, I did not, I, I, I did not know this, this held anything. It was, it was merely a, a locket that my mother gave me before she died. I... But it helps me remember her. I did not know what what was inside it. Where is it? What 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 is it? This is how I found it. Hmm. I thought it would belong to either you or uh, Floon. No, no, it is mine. Though, and he sort of pieces it back together, and he seems to be sort of puzzling some mystery in his mind as he's putting it back together and opening it and looking at the the vacancy. And uh, he um, he says, yes, 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 yes. But but once they once they took my locket, they brought me back downstairs and they brought Floon up. I, 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 I do not know why. But then there was then there was a ruckus. I heard a fighting. I heard fighting going on. And in that, I was able to slip my bonds and hide out down here. I have been hiding here for 
I, I don't know. Some long time. It is dark down here. What? 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 <sighs> it is evening right now. Yes. Oh, yes. Evening. Wait, we, we were... I've been down here a day. By the gods. By the gods. Where's Floon? Have you found... Where is Floon? That's what we want to know. <sighs> I do not know. I do not know. The last I saw him, they were taking him up the stairs to question him. But then the ruckus broke out upstairs, and and he, he seems a little ashamed as he as he admits that I, I, I hid myself as I could, and I have I've been hiding out ever since. These these creatures, they've been down here, and I've been waiting for my chance to escape. But they've stayed here ever since that time. What what could I have done? What could I have done? And he, he looks at you. He puts his arm. What could I have done? You did what you could. It's fine. It's nothing to blame yourself about. I wish you had more information on where your friend Floon was, because he's probably being beaten to death right now, and that's not really your fault 100%, but kind of your fault. You kind of bailed on him a little bit. Thank the, you for the, calling out the shitty friends, Jake. The, 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 but the, the... I mean, don't worry Renner, yourself. Don't worry yourself. It's nothing you should on your life. conscience. You, Floon's you are, death is not is. something that should weigh on your conscience at all. Just don't worry about it. You have no information. You can't help but find him at all. They I, get may it, have, I get it. They may have thought he was me. They were probably trying to find me. They were probably, oh, by the gods, they were probably trying to find me. And they took Floon in my stead. Friends, friends, you must find him. That's the plan. Unfortunately, the trail seems to have gone cold other than we know it was the Zents. Zents? So short of starting on all well, the Zents, Zents were the here, Zents but these... The Zents were here, but these Xanathar seems to have seem to have jumped them. These Kenku, they are agents of the Xanathar. They are left over. So you're saying the Xanathar took Floon from the Zents? Well, they must have. The the Zents the the the, the Zents as you, yes, 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 the flying snake guys, the Zents, right? Yes. Yes, they were the ones who who took us here and locked us up. They questioned us. They took the locket, but when I was downstairs, they brought Floon up, and then there was there was a, a, a large fight, and then these 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 bird creatures came down, and they're clearly working for the Xanathar. The Xanathar must have ambushed or followed us here. Is that possible? They must have. Well, the Xanathar must have taken Floon, thinking it was me. Why would the Xanathar want? And he, he sort of shrinks a little bit. Why would the Xanathar want me? Do you but have the same any special the information? No, well, you are the son of Never Hember. I mean, you're, they were you're asking me. Penny. They did ask me so much, but this, they, everyone's. Uh, it's so absurd. Everyone has this preposterous idea that my father has this hoard of gold someplace. It's, it's honestly exhausting. Honestly exhausting. I appreciate that these rumors are fun. For the plebeians, I get that the idea of finding this in uncountable or the, this immense treasure is great, but the truth is, my father was not that rich. We are not that rich. But let's say you were, and he was. Where do you think it would stash something like that? <laughs> where could you? Where where could you put a million or half a million, whatever, depending on what rumor you hear? Where could you put that many dragons? Nowhere. That's the preposterous absurdity. I live in his manor. I have been all through the place. It's not there. Where else would it be? This is. So you're saying it's not in his manor? <sighs> I'm saying it doesn't exist. I know it's a fun rumor. I know that it's a great thing to talk about and to chase. But the truth is, it doesn't exist. It's a. It's Could a, that be why the Zents wanted you, and that be why the Zen theorem? Undoubtedly, undoubtedly. That is why the Zens and the Xanathar wanted me. They think I may know something or some location. <laughs> he sort of stops. He's like, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. They want me. They took Floon, thinking he was me, to find a treasure that doesn't exist. <laughs> Gods, I need a drink. Who's got something worth drinking? I don't have anything on me, but we, uh, we know a bar close by. Indeed, indeed. But, 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 wait, 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 wait. And so, in all of this, the the watch has sort of been standing by, and and the watch guy says, "So, I, uh, it seems to me you won't be requiring our services any longer." 
We didn't really require them to begin with. He's actually talking to Lord Never Ember. And he, he looks at you and gives you that look to tell you exactly that. And uh, he's like, well, uh, you you could find Floon, I suppose. And he's like, yes, yes, yes. Well, yes, we'll, 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 do, the, we'll do just that. We will we'll report this to the... To, I'll report this to my superior, and we will we will put this into the queue to find this missing persons. <sighs> so many missing persons that that come around in here. It's it's, it's quite annoying, honestly. But very well. Lots very of well. missing persons going on recently, Stagnant? It happens, you know. It, you it, don't mess with me, Jake. You know this. The, the missing people come up missing. People report missing. They turn up two days later because they were drunk in a saloon. And he looks at whoa. He actually looks down at at uh, Lona. He says, as he talks about being drunk in a saloon and missing for two days, he's like, "What? What happened to her?" The goddamn Kenkus! I told you they were causing all the ruckus down here. You should. We bring, came here to stop them. You should bring I told her. Jeez, oh, you should bring her to. A, you should bring her to a local, a local church. They can help her. Or something. can you help us carry her? Because she's not exactly light. Look, and I, I can't. I can't. I'm really not calling help. you fat. I'm calling you muscular. We're we're going to find we're going to find flu very well, uh, Lord Never Ember. If you would accompany us, we could use your support in in identifying this person and where he may have been. And Lord Never Ember looks up. He says, "Yes, yes, I'll uh, yes, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you outside in, in in just a minute." Very well. And uh, the the captain doesn't salute, but he sort of stands up, is a sign of respect, and, and they all leave. And uh, Lord Never Ember looks at you. He's like. It will be a week before they even get to this. You must find my friend. You must find Floon. It it you would earn my deepest gratitude if you could do this. That is all you had to say. Really? Well. Oh, well. We are uh, likely to be back at the Yawning Portal. If you need to get in contact with us. Hmm. I will. I will look for you there. I. I. And he sort of looks. And he has a moment of sort of clarity where he looks, sort of looks at each of you in the face for a moment. Looks down at Alona, still just lying on the ground. Looks up at you, uh, Jake, and he says, uh, "Yes. Well, yes. Yes, I shall." So, so where will you be? The Xanathar. They must have him. We. If only we had some way to find the Xanathar hideout. They must have taken him there. Oh, we we we've got that figured out. That's not not a concern. What? Just whether or not he's there. What? You just follow the yellow brick road, man. Come on now, everybody knows that. Uh, yeah, right. If you say so. Well, uh, friends, if there's anything I can do for you, do not hesitate. I, if you need to find me, I will be at my estate. I can give you the address if you need it. But oh, no, no, I know where it is. Ah, well, everybody, everybody knows where that is. <laughs> he, he sort of stands up in a, in a bit of pride. Yes, well, I, I suppose so. And I wish if you, you need to find us again, the Yawning Portal. You might even hear me play entertainment for the night. The great Zavrosi, of course. Zavrosi. Does... You were yes. in the. You were in that play where you played. The a, the f- I've been the f- in a few. That you might have remembered the Winter's Ring. I was Artis Simber in that one. Or, yes, of course. How uh, could I forget? How could I not see you? Uh, you you looked very different in your uh, pirate as, uh, uh, attire, I suppose. Sometimes you uh, want to live the role to get the real feeling of what it's like. You get a bit more inspiration for the, the play on the stage. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. I've, I've definitely heard of your name. I, 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 yes, I, I have heard of you. If you're with these friends, Jake, Melshimber, interesting. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Well, don't, don't let me stop you, please. Uh-huh. Find my friend. I must, I must meet the guard and, and, and give them what information I can. Perhaps they can follow up and, and maybe they will even help you. Um, but, but yes, I, I will find you at the yawning portal, and I will. You can be sure I will be in the box seat at your next your next engagement, Zavrosky. It's, it's it's a tremendous pleasure to to get to meet you. Zavrosky will bow. <laughs> uh, all right, I know we weren't long. Sorry. Next week, right? Next week it's not Halloween. Next week is that right? 
Great. And then, yeah, next week we're good. It's the week after. The we week. get to play two fucking weeks in a row. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, fantastic. So we have... Uh, and before, before he leaves, I'll just... If you want to look for us, just look for Hydra. We are Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. <laughs> Nobody knows us about that, but us, but just go with it. Just find, you can find us on social media. You can find us on social media at hashtag Hail Hydra. Uh, <laughs> next week. Insta. Next week, we will continue. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. You guys have um, rescued. Lord Renair Never Ember. That yeah. is <laughs> worth level two. Oh, yeah, level ups. All right. So the search for Floon Blagma, the coolest name in the realm, continues next week. We will go at level two. Uh, Jake Melshimber assures us he knows the way to get there. I guess we'll find that out next week as well anybody got any going away stuff any plugs any anything we need to give before we get out of here david you're the best thank you for saving me from that crit fail <laughs> i appreciate you oh wait we have two we have inspiration for i just saw inspiration for alona was that from earlier or is that it was probably, yeah that was what yeah, saved the death save yeah i am so far me. behind in the chat yeah. I, i'm sorry uh bear with we've me been, we've been watching that Thank you, guys. Yeah. Don't worry All right. about it. So, uh, two whole weeks in a row. We are going to take Halloween off because apparently some of these guys have children it's that they fault. need to like it's do trick fault. or treating for and stuff. Uh, so we will do that. Okay. But after that, we should be good. I haven't looked at the calendar through. Oh fuck! Thanksgiving's a Thursday too, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. Did Thursday's Halloween like now. the worst night ever for Danny. Canadian Thanksgiving's already over, so no idea. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, Anyway, all right, so uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Uh, we really oh, appreciate you guys around. I'm going to get this up on YouTube. Uh, if you want to hang out and support us at all, definitely give us a follow on YouTube. We appreciate all of your follows on Twitch as well, your subs, your bits, your thank yous. If we can do something that gets you to even yell at your camera for a second, that would be even the best thing ever. Next week, we're going to find out where Floon is or the next step in the search for Floon at the very least. The only question that I have yeah. is did the Grognards make the level two? Grognards did not make the level two. But <laughs> but <laughs> rubbing it in. <laughs> but Tuesday next week they will play this out and they are awfully close to this so we're running these dual games right now tuesday night thursday night thursday night are i don't Your play favorite. favorites at all but thursday is my favorites by a large right so uh, we're, we're, going we're going to we're going to continue to do that tuesday night is the grognards it's the old gaming guys we are uh also doing the same thing pretty soon these stories are going to hopefully start diverging a lot same setting different story paths we'll see how that all works out but it's not i repeat not a race. Definitely 100% not a race. Definitely race. totally a race. If you <laughs> Hey, if you want to uh, if you want to hang out with us on on Discord, please uh, check out our Twitch links that were created amazingly by Fax Fox. Uh, he's got a super awesome website and a stream he does a couple times a week, right? Fa Fox, you're uh, every now and again. It's more of a perhaps thing. More of a perhaps. Well, we're still in. So you can check him out at the Fax Fox pretty much anywhere you find on social media. Uh, next week, Brandon. the Grognards will be on Tuesday night. They're going to be at pretty much the same spot in the story. They may get ahead a little bit, but on Thursday night, Edge Lords and Murder Hobos may beat them out. I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, next week, we got to we get Alona healed first. Alona, thank you for being quiet while you're unconscious half the night. Uh, yeah, it was so long. Uh, I was unconscious first. I was scrolling through Twitter. I was texting my boyfriend. Who saved you from dying? By the way, thank you very much. Anyway, this is the long outro. My apologies. Uh, next week we will see if the Edge Lords and Murder Hobos can keep their edge in the not race to completion by the Grognards. Until then, 
Nerd out! Ooh, that was hot, baby. Hot. Hail Hydra. I'll do that one.